Yeah, it works better when I turn on the mics, right? Right. So, good evening, and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for January the 13th, 2022. I'm Mom. DT's at work tonight. Depending on what time we end this, he might join us for the last few minutes. Yeah, and again, he might not join us for the last few minutes. So, who the heck knows? But I'm here. You get me. Lucky you. And anybody else who wants to join us, we are in... What channel are we in tonight? We are in the We Are Live channel, so if anybody would like to jump in and join me, we're going to be doing some PvP, I think. I think that's kind of still up in the air. I'm not sure if we're PvPing or not. If folks want to, we can PvP. Get that one out of the way. Um, perhaps, perhaps we'll do a little bit of random TFOs. I thought we might look at some accolades, especially some kill accolades. Everybody's got accolades. Not everybody does their accolades, which is strange. But, you know, there's a lot of bizarre ones there. So I'm hoping that at least once a week we can sit down and spend a little bit of time doing some of the weird stuff that we never get a chance to do. Ed and I tend to run endeavors all the time. And if anybody needs to run an endeavor, aside from the PvP, well, like I said, we can even do the PvP. And have some fun tonight. Obviously, I am doing... Swarm. The other swarm. There's actually two swarms in the game because we're not really good at coming up with apparently clever names. So we have swarm with the hercs, and we have swarm with these uh, little bug things on our half-hour things. And what the heck? It's still lithium. I would have been happier if they decided to give us the atli and bringing home the bacon, my absolute favorite one, because you can solo that puppy so fast. And if you're smart enough to make it your first one of the day, it is worth a ton of dill. Good evening, Rasul. After so long of not hearing from you, there you are in chat today, and then you wind up on Pavo with us, which was a lot of fun, and there you are now. Well, yeah, it would be nice to see you for more than high and by. How's your life doing? How's work? How's school? so hard to do this. I have no idea on distances when I'm doing this. Did we get them all? Nope. Minute and five seconds left. No! There must be more here. We've only got 69%. How can this be? There's a lot of us playing it here. There's one over there. Nope, she's got that one. Ah! Yeah, I'm doing the... Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in this apartment. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here in Indianapolis. If we're going to move here. If I'm going to give it up and go back to Chicago. It's well, there's a lovely apartment, literally eighth of a mile that way. It's that way. I had to remember where it is. A um, little bit bigger space, another hundred a month, so not killer. And it's fine. I mean, it'd be fine if there's two people. And so I have invited DT to come on down here if he needs to find a job with a little bit better pay, but. Every time I mention it to him, he'll say things like, well, what's the temperature today? It's four. And he's like, yeah, that's that's not a convincing argument. <laughs> no, it's not a convincing argument. It's a terrible argument, but it is four. Well, today it's pretty good. It's about 30. However, I've got my apartment at 58 degrees. My location is perfect for where I'm working at the moment. Close enough that I can bicycle to work. In an absolute pinch, I can walk to work. I've got good public transportation to work. I can get to the grocery store with a five minute walk. The pizza place is less than five minutes away. There's a Chinese restaurant five minutes away. You know, it's, it's ideal. You couldn't ask for a better location. Okay, my husband's 200 miles away, so there's that slight draw back there. So I guess there is a downside to that, but I'm going back tomorrow to visit him after a very long two weeks being here. It was so flippin' cold last week that 
between our latest COVID outbreak. We've got a lot of people sick at work. And the fact that it was four in my car isn't that good. We finally said, just stay there. Yeesh. And then it turns out I have to work until 10 tomorrow night, so <laughs> not going to be a fun drive tomorrow night. I was mentioning this earlier. Dante did a lovely little down and dirty analysis of the quickest way to make dilithium. And he's been doing RAs and just making an absolute ton of dilithium on RAs for the time involved, with Tholian RA actually being the fastest, or excuse me, the most profitable. So that means that the Tholian RA is the fastest one out of the bunch. Wow, that's nice. Our landlords are a big company that just runs apartment buildings, and they are incredibly good. Everything's clean. If there's a problem, they usually have somebody out within hours, if not minutes. I'm not complaining. It's been fine here. So if you're in one of the fleets, we did put the ore boost on everything. I think there's one or two of the ore boosts, though, that might still need a few fleet marks. I think it's um, the strike group. So you're telling me you've all the luck you could probably get in the rest of your life, and you got it now. Hmm. Hmm. My husband was able to get a very good price on his medication for his cancer. He's like, ah, I won the lottery for that. I'm thinking, but if you'd won the actual lottery lottery, we could have afforded the medication. Which is true. So let's see what's up today. I still have a PvP to do. Not that I have to do that. Um, and I'm going to run the swarm on my other account. So if anybody needs to run the swarm for one of their new tunes. Uh, I thought we could do that a little bit later. Of course, anybody out there, that would be you and me, Russell. It's just the two of us. It's a very intimate night tonight. Yeah, I've, okay, I've never done anything here. It's meh. I've never put up any of my artwork. I have dozens of pieces. Uh, the only thing in here for decoration is I have a fireplace. I've never used it. I've been here almost two years now. Um, I still have my one piece of furniture, the desk. I still have an air mattress instead of a bed. And I keep saying, well, I'll, I'll buy furniture this year. And I think, well, but next year my husband might move out here if we can afford the house. Hmm. Indianapolis is the land of many breweries. There's a brewery every place. <coughs> There's actually a distillery it's only about four miles away from here. Unfortunately, they make bourbons, which I don't care for. But um, good beer every place. But they have this tendency towards uh, wheat beers, lighter beers, and they have this penchant at the moment of fruit-flavored beers versus Chicago, where you tend to get more of the red ales, um, brown ales. I like good beer. I prefer good wine, and unfortunately I like New Zealand whites. And I haven't found a good wine shop here yet. I found some okay ones. But the whole time I've been down here, I think I've gotten five bottles of wine, or alcohol of some sort, mostly for present. I don't know that brand. Let me Google that real quick. Well, that wasn't the one. I, I Googled that and came up with Moninger Foundry Supplies, which used to be my business, which was not that particular name. Ah, yes, I do know that one. Absolutely, I know that. Didn't recognize it, but from one of my trips over there. Didn't recognize the name though until I saw the label. Yeah, I used to um, work out of Aachen, Germany, and the 
spears there are okay. <laughs> That's also the name I know, but that one I recognize. Well, somebody else has joined us. Whoever just joined us, hi. How are you doing today? Excuse me while I hiccup. That doesn't work, does that? There we go. Oh, familiar name. Let's see which one of these. Cappuccino. Is that the only tune I ever did for an event? That looks like it. I made some of these tunes for reasons that totally elude me. I think I was trying to make a bunch of uh, the KDF tunes for the event and then realized what a pain in the rump they are to make because of all the events you have to do. Yeah, you might notice I haven't done a lot here. But I think we will do some Destroy Her Frigates. So if anybody is out there and wants to join me to do um, Swarm on Klingon side, let me know. Take your time, sir. I'm going to be here for a bit. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this will be a quiet night. So let me jump back to my main account here. There we go. So let's find Kethma. She is my original tune. So these are all of my unaccomplished accolades. Oh, you know what acc accolade we could be working on today? All of the ones that involve um, the Borg ships. Those. Which ones are they? Nope, 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 nope. What the heck is that one? The weekly episode of Bajor. I didn't even know there was a weekly episode of Bajor. Is that even an episode anymore? I don't think that's still an episode. Mission of Bajor. Let's see here. Of Bajor, the player summoned to the beachhead established in the city of Hathon on Bajor. Uh, help the Federation and Klingon Defense Force plan the counterattack of Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Feature episode notes, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow, this goes in 2013. Let's see if it was officially retired. Oh, limited time special mission rewards. <sighs> Part of the 2800 originally. Let's see if it's still there. Yep, there it is. I don't remember ever playing this. I must have, right? We evacuated everyone we could to pay Holy moly, I don't remember this. We're going to play this because I do not remember it at all. The mom is old and feeble. Welcome back. 
I honestly don't remember this one. This should be interesting. Our scouts have found yeah, I don't think so. Go to Bajor. Well, I think I'm at Bajor, but let's just double check that I'm in the right Bajor. I guess I'm in the right page, or let's see what happens. Wow, 2012 and 2013. That was a long time ago. Hmm, do I want to beam down to page, or? Not giving me a lot of information here. Let's try beaming down there. Let's see what it says. Oh, hold on. Maybe I do remember this one. Is this one? For this ship? No, nope, 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 nope. I started as one thing, turned it into another thing, didn't like it, turned it back into something else. Decided I wasn't 100% sure about that. I'm really good at not being decisive on this one. keep thinking I'll do this, and then I kind of go, yeah, not going to do that. Then I hem and haul a little bit more and don't do anything. Indecision. That's my name. Nope. Not that doorway. I'll be honest right now, Russell, there's a large part of me thinking that perhaps it's a really good time to think about retiring from working as many gosh awful hours as I'm working and just chill and enjoy life for a little bit and play the game and not worry about everything. What am I going to go see? That's what I want to see. Short. Okay, so now I have to go report to somebody else. Jarell Kiev. Kiev. Somebody over here. Nope. This person? Nope. This person out here? There we go. How can I help you? Do you need something? Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's do with the walk walking wounded. Escort officers wounded in the attack on DS9 from the transporters to the infirm infirmary. Hold on, before we do that. Ah, ah, so that's what this is all about on the accolade. So we have to do all of these. Okay, walking wounded, it is. Now we have to go figure out how to do that. Well, we got a mission from her. I'm here to help. We'll accept that one. Help. Good, I'm glad you're here to help. After a long and trying week like this week, Retirement's beginning to look really attractive. Or at least not working as much is beginning to look more attractive. I don't think I want to go there. But the thing about working is they pay you money. And if I retire, they're not going to pay me money. Come on, come with me. Where am I taking this person? All the way down there. Gee, think they could beam them in a little bit closer? Yeah, however, the situation over there is a little bit better than the situation over here. One, I want to pay off every bill. I would like to have enough money to be able to go take a vacation every now and then, which technically we have, but 
Only technically. Let's see if we're going to take this guy over here. I want to take you in here? No, I don't think so. My husband retired yeah, 10 years ago. Well, that's one of them. I have to take three of them. Gosh, these guys are slow. Whoop. And I actually like working, but right now I'd like to be working on some other stuff and not the work that I'm doing. It's been interesting. I've been heading up a project on acquiring our cybersecurity maturation model certification. So kind of fun. Yeah, my Stow builds, my Stow books. I have a fiction book that I actually wrote 15 years ago, and I'd love to get it edited and out to, uh, to, to, to Amazon. Because it's so easy to publish, I don't know that I'd make any money. But it would be nice. Come on, officer. Jog with me. Over here. Whoop, whoop. Over here. And here we go. Two down. Well, I'd like to think that they're good. I know that they're on the more, not juvenile side, but not geared toward adults as much. And I certainly couldn't make it more graphic and change the content a little bit. Who's out there tonight? It's you, Id. Hi, Id. How are you doing? How are you doing? We're DT free on Thursdays. From now on, DT is working. Currently, he's off on Mondays and Tuesdays, but as I'm sure most of you know, his mom passed away a couple of days before Christmas, and he's dealing with all of that stuff, all the realities of suddenly being the last member of the family and having to deal with a house and the dog and supporting yourself and taking care of all the responsibilities. Come on, injured officer. There we go. Over here. Over here. Over here, boy. Over here. Yay! And we got another accolade done. Yay! Oot, 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 oot. Yeah. Um, his mom had been ill and in the hospital. And then all of a sudden it's a matter of uh, we're going to put her in hospice and he was doing the what, 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 what? And then she passed away almost as soon as they got her in hospice. So if he's gone a lot and when he's here, he's a little distant. Now you understand why. So is anybody up for doing anything? Would anyone like to do a random? Or does anybody need to work on their endeavors? If anybody wants to jump into voice, that's cool, too. I think I'm in voice. Pretty dang sure I'm in voice. I am. Hey. Jumping back to Amazon and books. What's interesting, uh, Rasul, is we 
we have two books that are published under Dark Mom. One is written by Centurion Alpha, and he's working on a third. Um, one that DT and I wrote, and I'm working on a fourth. But once you've got two books out, um, Amazon gives you a little bit of a boost in how your books are presented. So getting my original piece out there gets all of that benefit. So that would be very nice. Who am I going to go see now? Ah, oh, Jarrell again. This lady. All right. I'm all here. done. Oh no, there's more to this? Well, is this the entire just running around mission? That kind of sucks. Let's see what else we have to do for an accolade here. Okay, so we did Walking Wounded. Uh, we've got required... Let's see. Let's see what she's going to offer us here. I'm here to help. We have Contemplating Captains and Studying Soldiers. Have we done any of those? Contemplating Captains it is. I'm here to help. We done, and we've done studying soldiers. Yeah. Yeah, my dad passed away in Austria um, from lung cancer. And my sister went over to see him before he passed. I did not. I think it was hardest on my son. My mom had passed away, and that was really tough on my son. I think tough on everybody. And then my dad decided he was going to move to Austria and not deal with any of what was going on here. So that was in 2013. Yeah, and I found the e the final email he sent. He had not quite figured out email, so everything he sent was always in all caps. And so to this day, I see that. And I'm like, yep, Dad's shouting at me. Because, yep, he did. Okay, what do we do for contemplating captains? Complete combat training changeling. Okay. Where, oh, that's in here. Oh, okay, that's in here. I suppose I probably don't want to do that with that one. Oh, good. I, I love the weapons that I've picked out here for her. She's either got a batleth, which had to have a run proc, or we've got the presidential hand axe. Okay. Let's have some fun. Presidential hand axe it is. Speaking of the hand axe, we're getting close to uh, Earth Day in April, and we've got the anniversary event coming up in a couple of weeks. Federation Day? Is that what it's called? Federation Day? Yeah. Yeah, my mom was in, in stage cancer when she passed away, and they'd given her a bunch of pain meds. And I am fairly convinced that one night she decided that's enough, took all of the meds at once, and that was it. But... Oh, this guy does not like getting hit with a hand axe. I mean, it's not doing anything to him. Takes out the Borg. Let's do it that way. Ooh, that's not even hitting him. I'm going to assume everybody has seen Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, yes? Yes. Oh, Brazil, all the moves here are straight out of the movie. It was a wonderful movie. I believe it was part of a, not a, directly a series, but a number of authors started writing... Um, horror films melded with classical literature. So, uh, let's see, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, Sense and Sensibilities and Sea Monsters, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, which actually was really well done. They took a great idea, which was to use Lincoln's diaries and just change the concepts of slavery to uh, trying to save people from being 
captured and used by vampires. And the guy who actually did the writing on it did a great job. What? No bad puns, Natalia? How dare you? I'll have you know I kind of have been smiling throughout the day today going, Hi, I'm Jason, and this is Momoa. Just seeing that has made my day much better. dare you? Just love it when my bridge officers are like, yeah, no. Nah. That's what you get for not giving us a bonus. Is there really? Wow. <laughs> oh, no wonder. I'm mentally prepped for normal and this is advanced. So I train with about four different weapons for martial arts classes. And my favorite one is the double hand size, which if you can imagine, two axes about that length. I don't look anything like that. Guys, if you would come over and help me fight, that would be very nice of you. And of course, all my bridge officers are just standing there going, yeah, I don't think so. Still? Last last year, the year before, the first year they had the, uh, the Seven of Nine Ground mission, One Night in Bozeman, we decided to have fun. No shields, no armor, and only melee weapons. That was a severely good night. All right, Targi boy, get him. Good Targi boy. We were doing some LARPing, and they had a set of uh, chain mail, the light chain mail to under wear underneath your heavy chain mail stuff and all the outer pieces. I thought I can wear that. Oh my god, that was amazingly hard to do. 
Range of motion is nothing. You die from carrying that extra 30 pounds with you. And because we trained in martial arts, not trained in wearing that heavy stuff, you go to do a roll, you go to do a fall, and you just hit the ground and you stay on the ground. I got hit last night in uh, my Taekwondo class, my Hapkido class. And I've got a bruise. Oh my god, am I hit. Good technique, though. Unfortunately, it's on the upper part of my body, so I couldn't go into work today. Going, look what they did last night! Which is my favorite way to go in. Are we done yet? Is he dead yet, Mom? Yay! Yay! I've captured him. It wasn't that the chainmail was hard to wear. It actually fit me quite well. It was heavy. It was just so heavy. <laughs> Thank you. I put goo in a box. How exciting, right? I'm here to help. Yay, so I got another one done. Okay, so we got two more done on the accolade list. So we still have required renovations, system security, petition the profits, occupation overreaction, and scrutinizing starships. So we got some work to do. <laughs> yep, if you want to put the video link in Data's Gallery, that would be awesome. And it looks like somebody's been playing Operation Wolf, which is a fine mission in my humble opinion. That would probably have helped. I was wearing it over a t-shirt and blue jeans. This is at Gen Con. They do a... Uh, LARPing for people who don't normally LARP. And of course then they gave us foam weapons. Well, I'm used to carrying a weapon. That's fine. And obviously they're not going to let us get away with that. But I figured how bad can the chainmail be? I have learned. Chainmail is heavy. I shall return to Bajor. I shall return one day. Is anybody up for joining me for some pew pew? Red alerts. The lithium hunting. Hmm. Speaking of the lithium hunting, let me see if anybody's filled this yet. Amazingly, we're still looking for about 130 fleet marks in the strike group, Starfleet strike group, the main fleet, research lab, special projects. I think I'm all out of fleet marks. I am. Well, made me appreciate how much work it is. Yeah, it, the jellyfish was a present that my fleet gave me, which is why it's called the US or VSS We Made Mom Cry, because they did. I had wanted it, and um, they gave it to me. You want to Borg it out? Going to Borg a jellyfish? That would be kind of awesome, actually. Jellyfish is a cute ship. I have the jellyfish and I have the uh, uh, La Serena, which is still in a box. Still haven't opened that one up to play with it. I have to figure out who's going to get it. Obviously, the jellyfish goes to Kethma, because she's the fleet mom. But who's going to get the jellyfish? My head. Klingon has already got a nice ship, so we have much work to do. I have boxes and boxes of unopened ships, and I have boxes of coupons that I've never used. And good evening to you. And good evening to you. How are you doing? As I said earlier, I'm doing just fine. I'm enjoying my new flat, especially now that uh, I'm slowly getting around and figuring out which room I want to use for what stuff. I have a second bedroom that currently, and actually since I moved in, has been filled with stuff. It was going to be the room for broadcasting, 
except the wall that's behind me is um, metal reinforced so using the Wi-Fi it's that's the one room it doesn't go into so then I'd have to run a cable in front of the fireplace I'm not going to do that in front of the window or the patio window I'm not going to do that around two big walls and in, in there and I thought that's silly but I just got brand new Wi-Fi set up in here and I think I think the box goes into that room as well so I will Move everything in there next weekend and see if I can do it. Well, good luck. Pardon? Good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. It took me a long time to get it settled in that this is a good spot. And now, of course, with the Wi-Fi, where's the unit? It's on the opposite wall. So now I have to move everything over there. <sighs> just, just silly. Yeah. <laughs> it's always something, right? Definitely. Oh, by the way, uh, do you know why or since when exactly the uh, emotes on ESD were disabled? The emotes on what are disabled? Earth, Earth Space Dog. Are they? Yep. No. Yep. That's interesting. I can emote in missions just fine, so I assume I can emote in, in other maps as well. But in uh, Earth Space Dog, I can. Hit the emote, it writes the text into the chat, and that's all that happens. The um, character does nothing. <laughs> okay, that's really interesting. I don't go down there too often. Let's take a look here. Let's see if it's you or if it's everybody. I haven't seen anyone else do any emotes. Usually there's someone dancing or doing random stuff all the time. So. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, well, my blood. favorite emote, slash E, space T. <laughs> you can do it? Yeah, if I'm doing them off the... let's see. Yep, I can dance. Just going off the menu, they're working. Nope, I'm using them and nothing happens. Wow. Um, which instance are you in? Uh, eight. Okay, hang on a second. Where am I? Well, I'm, just a, I'm in eight, too. Over. And it's working. <laughs> That's really weird. Maybe it's just my client not displaying it? Could be. Let me come over to you and hit an emote. Yeah. One of our friends is uh, air guitaring with no issues over here. Yeah, I'm seeing your emotes. Yep. Hmm, it, that actually sounds like it would be good. So <laughs> so that's it right there. So, But you're definitely not emoting. That's really weird. Yep. <laughs> it definitely else? is. I have one idea what it might be. I have the subspace party notifier inventory. Um, let me put that into the bank. But I tried it earlier, it didn't change anything. I'll put it out there in chat and see if anybody else is having issues. Yeah. Well, Id, I'm of the opinion at this point that I probably will just move this over to that wall. Maybe by a couch, maybe not. And then just actually have this as my uh, streaming room and my living room. And then turn the extra bedroom into just a place to write. But that means I'm going to have to clean the extra be extra be bedroom. Yeah, I'm, switching, I'm switching instances just to refresh my character. And let's see. Yep, now I can emote. Oh, good. Apparently, since the update, oh. the um, suspect notifier also blocks emotes in social spaces. Huh. That's bizarre. It definitely is because I'm fairly certain they didn't change it. No, not intentionally. Yeah. Of course, how many things anyways. get changed unintentionally with every patch? Yeah, anyways. Um, stuff. Killing. Yes, stuff killing. I'm game. Well, probably works better if I get a little healed here. I hope you're a human, not a game, but okay. 
Do do you. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm just needing a snark snark. Let me go over there to uh, sick bay and get myself healed up here. <laughs> Not like one ever short of those uh, treatments. <laughs> they keep piling up. Yeah, they do. There we go. Which class are you? Uh, just not science. Not science? Meh. I am science, sorry. I'm science. Okay, then I kind of understand that you die. Science sucks on ground. Yeah, and part of it also is I don't take her out on a lot of anything anymore. I've got other tunes that are more specified for ground and space battle. I mean, I can help you get a decent uh, ground bit for, for going. I, I probably need to. I mean, it's not bad, but I haven't done anything with it for a long time. Because I just haven't played with her. I've got meh for modules, meh for equipment. Yeah, I would probably go for the uh, for an ice build. And for the green uh, the green four piece from the winter event. Really. Then the exothermic uh, induction field. Okay. And the um, cold assault rifle from I think Nukara. Okay. Hang on a sec. Anything else? Um. Mats, because Mats is always good. Um, I think triage was the uh, defense buff for the science. Okay, I think I've got that. Triage is one of the basic mods. Mm -hmm. You can cross it yourself if need be. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so we have Mats, we have triage, we have uh, exothermic, mm -hmm. endothermic, the ice one. Okay. Um, there's, I think there's another code one from either the winter or the summer event for science. Let me double check. Usually the uh, cold ones are the winter events. Yeah, but all of them. I think. Um. Nope. They are, definitely. It, I offered the spare bedroom to uh, DT if he ever decides to move out from Arizona. As a temporary thing. With, with my husband's blessing, he knows. As a temporary thing. Ah, in that case, we can even switch the um, triage out for the cryothermic armor. Oh, okay. Just, just to be on theme. It's probably not quite as good, but it's more thematic. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to have very uh, rainbow builds for ground. Ooh, in that, that case, stick, stick with triage. Triage is, is, okay. triage is nice. Um... Then we need more cold stuff. Uh, ah, there's a universal. Is that worth a time? No, that's single target. Oh yeah, there's a parasitic eyes if you uh, got that kid module. I think I do. Do I have anything in my inventory that's ice or, or related? Um, I got the parasitic eyes. Yeah, um, devices. Do you have the, um, the, the, the temporal fragment thing where you double yourself? Where you create two copies of yourself? Um. That was an event item a while ago. Uh, the... The Jorn Orb one? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I've got that one. I'm pretty sure I've got it. Yeah, that one is always a nice idea. Yeah, Shard then of Possibilities. The, uh, yep, definitely have yep. that one. Mm -hmm. Then the uh, Temporal Flux mission reward is always a nice. That's essentially an oh shit button. Don't have it there. Might have it back in a box. I think you can just redeem it uh, from somewhere. If it's redeem, it's probably out on event. Uh, it, it was an event item. Nope, that's, temp that's temporal hack. Let's go see if it's just sitting uh, in a box. Yeah, temporal flux is a uh, mission reward, but the, uh, the shot of the was an event. 
if you want it now, it's sixty bucks on the on the mass market. So I'm That's definitely okay. not getting it. <laughs> of course, the gambling device is always a good a good option. Which one? The gambling device. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, remote you later because remote later is always a good idea. I just grab those when I need them, rather than ha having one around. I have the one from uh, the the Borg planet Devara or whatever it's called. The one with the enormous one second shorter act activation time. That took me about two hours to get because freaking, <laughs> the, the freaking vendor is bugged. Let's see, oh, time in a bottle is the one where the. Temporal thing comes from. Temporal Flux is very nice because it's, it's a, a five second invul button. That's right. I remember that one. I know I had it at one point. I probably stupidly pitched it. Temporal Flux generator. You just, uh, you hold over the chat, right? Pardon? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw the the pop up on screen. Mm hmm. That was the, the, the pop up from chat, I think. Yeah. Um,. Since we're using an assault rifle, I would also uh, recommend the Covert Assault Drone. Which one? The Covert Assault Drone. This one. That's a little bit more pricey since I started recommending it to a couple of streamers. <laughs> I it think was about I might, yeah, might thousand. I might have that on one of my other accounts. Yeah, that's... I mean, I think it's only two or three million. It was 500,000-ish. 300 to 500,000, depending on the day. Yeah, and what's um, it going for now? And then I recommended it to yeah. Aris Production and a couple other streamers. And they really liked it, and suddenly it went up, and now it's 2 to 3 million. 5 million. <laughs> it's 5 million now. <laughs> so fuck about 10 more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Well, the funny thing is... It is an amazing item. Short version, it basically doubles your weapon damage. I may have it sitting on a different account. I have so many unopened things that I've never used. Yeah, it, it was fairly widespread, but mm -hmm. never really used by anyone. But I tried it, and it's amazing. It, it's even more amazing with an early proton bullet if you got the Ba'u rifle. That I do not have. I know that. Yeah, but the Ba'u rifle was, last time I checked, about 30 million. So uh, <laughs> I can imagine why people would avoid that. I got mine for half a million the first one, and the second and third for two, uh, two or three million each. You have to wait for something uh, else to become the thing, and then the pricing changes. So you either have to be way ahead of the curve or way behind the curve. I was ahead. Yeah, I, I'm essentially the reason it got expensive. <laughs> It's actually not even on the market anymore. <laughs> really? Yep. It's obviously out of a box, right? It's, uh, yeah. I can't recall which box it was, but it is box. None of the Ba'u ground weapons are available anymore. Wow. Let's see. Actually, that's, that's a lie. Um, the minigun, the multi-beam, yeah, it's a couple are still available. Okay. Uh, it's even out the full of... auto. Even the a... it's only 43 million. <laughs> only. The thing is, I actually think I've got a box of Baul weapons I've never opened. Several boxes of them. I have actually, a let me check. Ah, the cheapest is only 14 million. Only. <laughs> easy peasy. It is by far the most potent weapon currently in the game for ground, by far. Even the discovery rank from Lobai is a joke in comparison. Wow. Because this rifle, by, mm -hmm. itse by, by itself, it's quite nice. It has the typical Ba'ul, every shot bounces to random target within 30, mm -hmm. uh, 30 meters for 5% damage. That's nice, but nothing amazing. But if you have the Cobalt Assault Drone, whenever you hit an enemy with, a, with your weapon, the, the Assault Drone shoots that target once. For, depending on your uh, kit performance, 60 to about 100 damage. Including on the bounce of the Ba'ul weapon. Hmm. <laughs> you were saying parasitic ice. Did you mean symb symbiotic ice? Um, 
Or no, symbiotic space. Sorry, my bad. No, I'm my pretty bad. sure I meant parasitic, guys. You did. You did. Symbiotic is space, not ground. I don't know which one you meant. What are we talking yeah. about? Stuff. Random, random cold Stuff. build for ground. Yeah. A cold build? Yes. That's cool. Uh-huh. I have been... it, it became viable thanks to the Vintage event uh, set. Oops, really? That. Yep. How are you oh, doing, Frost? Useful. I am kind of um, still stuck home with COVID. Well, Do you... I don't have COVID, but I'm around people that have COVID. Yeah. Yep. I am theoretically heading back to Chicago so I can give it to everybody. <laughs> That's awful nice of you. Well, I stayed home last weekend because we had a bit of an outbreak at work. And I didn't really want to pass it on to my husband, who's dealing with cancer, or my son, who's dealing with heart problems. And it was four degrees. So, you know, stay home. Yeah. Don't four degrees? It, last week it was four degrees. Well, aren't you living in paradise? I'm here <laughs> now. Hey, Jax151, yeah. thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate that a lot. It's my goal to get to 750 follows this year. And then we're at 600 and something. We're at 619, so we've got some work to do. We've got 131 to go. It's all your responsibility to give me my follows. Ah, damn, I posted the, the wrong rifle. The antiproton version of it. No, it's no. it just says antiproton, but it's actually cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anti-proton damage <laughs> cold. Yep. <laughs> That's... I, I have told them at Cryptic multiple times that I would be very happy to proofread these things before they put them out there. Yeah. Really? It's primarily an issue on the old weapons. On the new ones, they probably they usually get it right. No, they don't. I, I catch so many typos on the new ones. They catch typos on everything. And... <laughs> Because it ties in a lot with what I'm doing, which is writing policies and procedures, and this policy relates to this policy, so it gets really easy to just copy-paste, and then you realize that the typo from that one ties into the typo from this one, and then you have to fix this one, but then you forgot to fix this one. It's yeah. really easy to catch one and miss everything else. So am I looking at... It definitely is. Strike Force Elite Cryo. Da, 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 da. So why are we too. building a cold set? Oh, because fun. her science doesn't have a ground build. Yeah, my ground build sucks. And, so I decided, and... why not make one? Why not have fun? Life is short, have fun. Besides, what else am I going to do with all my new car marks? Um, have a party? We could do that. Does that work? That works. Well, this is my original tune, and I sold well, off 5,000 of everything in Marks the other day. And I'm still sitting on between two and 3,000 on all of them. Let's see. Teacher of the Life is my uh, Yeah, Monday mornings, yeah, it is, I get to work now at 6 a.m. and set up the testing, and everybody comes in, gets tested stands six feet apart from each other till I give them the all clear to go in and do their thing. So, which is now changing our Monday morning show since Ed now is gracious enough to let me do the show at 5 a.m. so I can be in the office at 6. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> well, my 5 yeah. a.m. is his 11 a.m. Oh. It's not quite okay. so bad then, for him. Then, then poor mom. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm always up at that time. I get up at 4 in the morning. Just, okay, no comment. I, I'm a morning That's... person. This is the part that kills me. It's 8 p.m. and my body's going, it's bedtime, Mom. But for almost everybody, yeah. it's a normal hour. And I found the next item of the set. Okay. Let's get what you The Cold Fusion Flash. Oh, it's only oh, about oh, a oh. million. Um, um, no, I may have that one. I'm pretty sure you do. I did at one point. <laughs> Though I might not have it on this one. See? Right there. <clears throat> I got it right there. Excuse me. Ha ha. Excuse me, I coughed. I apologize. That's okay. Computer viruses and all that, we can deal with it. <laughs> My computer well, will uh, self-isolate for a while. Cold Fusion Blast, I had. Yeah. Cold Fusion Blast? 
Oh, excuse me. And the cryovisor thing that I just thought would be. The cryovisor is kind of bad because it's single target. Single target doesn't really work. I just think it's cool to, to do the whole. Um, you know, oh, it's cool. Thing. It's definitely cool, but it, unfortunately not particularly effective. Mm. Details. Minor details. If it was line damage, then it would actually be viable. It just seems silly. <sighs> uh... okay, so got that. Let's see, the Breen suit from the winter event, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have enough winter stuff to get it. <laughs> yeah. <I don't. laughs> yeah. I would be surprised if you didn't. Um, well, <clears throat> hang on one second here. Mom clearly doesn't have anything. <laughs> And she doesn't <laughs> on this character. Yeah. Pi and I have tunes, and uh, we have an entire fleet that we just use for banking purposes. <laughs> so Nothing like exploiting your position. No, nothing like it. We're good at it. I didn't but, say you weren't good at it. It's still exploitation. Well, this is Farnsworth's old fleet, uh, Strangers with Candy. And when he stopped playing the game, hi, Brad. Out there, it turned into an extended bank. <laughs> yeah, we turned it into a giant bank. So, if people want to stash stuff, somebody wanted me to stash a whole bunch of lock boxes. Hey, Galaxy's uh, Galaxy Star Queen 77. Hi, it's nice to see you again. Oh, yeah, I got, I got an idea. Yes, if you do not have another um, kid module slot, then I will re replace the Cobalt Sword drawn with Risen is Futile. Which, because which Risen one? Disputer, uh, the um, Risen Disputer is uh, from the, the Borglock box. The one, it's fairly cheap, I think. The last time I checked was 75k. Okay. Um, it's an error effect that roots the targets to the ground, deals a little bit of physical damage over time, which I really don't care about. But I care about it roots the targets to the ground so they can't run around, which mm -hmm. helps a lot. Yeah. And the first time they take damage. Yeah. They lose 150 points of damage resistance against their damage type. Wow. All of them. That's, that sounds like it'd be a good thing to use against Lita. Yeah. It's it's a good... Uh, Lita's immune. The, she isn't resistant. She's immune. That's Doesn't not work. fair. Um, but it, the Risen is Futile is always amazing in single damage type builds. If you have a single damage type, Risen is Futile is always, almost a must-have. What's it called? Resistance is Futile. Resistance to shooter. Resistance, no, is, resistance futile. is futile. It's oh, a Borg resistance. kit. Yeah. It's yes, a Borg yes. thing. I have it on my on my. Yeah, character. I've got it on one of mine, maybe two of them. It's okay. cool on the ADK. <laughs> okay, just uh, let's see. Da, 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 recipes. I think ADK is affordable. <laughs> yeah, we have, well, have a, a few character. trinkets left from Ryza. Just a few. <laughs> Riza. Those Sorry, from uh, Winter Wonderland. Oh my gosh. Mom, yeah. that's like nothing. So, just a few. Look at, you only have 17 broken ornaments. That's the disappointing I, one. I traded them in. Uh huh. So, I'm surprised I didn't catch them all. Sounds yeah. like an excuse to me. <laughs> <clears throat> do, Actually, do, 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 that should be Hunky Dory Galaxy Star Queen. Not junky dory, but yeah, I I've got a few things left over from the winter event. I like grinding for the winter events. Let's see, what do I want? Let's take that. I would have never guessed. I know. I've never seen you do like anything on on Romulus or Ryza or uh, <laughs> yeah, none of them. I never, never grind. Oh, I think goodness. The more, Somebody let their the tire out here. When it's 15 per, per piece, it's four pieces, so it's uh, you, you need about 60 of each. Well, I, I just grabbed the loose ones, so I've got like um, between 150 and 500 of each because you know, <laughs> it's easier that way. Let me yeah. do this easier period. <laughs> yeah, cryovisor blast is, is perfect for my uh, my LARPing thing with this character. He only has one eye, so of course, it should, 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 should blah. It should shoot a laser out of it. All a cyclops? <laughs> well, it's it's my Ferengi. So one of his eyes is an antenna. Because he's bored. <laughs> ah! And so I figured the other one should shoot a laser to make him like that much more scary. <laughs> well, I'm sitting here. 
And the only the only problem is is since Ferengi aren't um, since you can't make them into a a a liberated Borg, you only get one option if you buy the 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 suit that makes them Borg. Yes. And so you have to stick with what they give you. You can't change it. Ooh, that's not fun. Hi, JX. Thank you so much for the comment. Fiery boy, are you talking about the flamey targ there? The self barbecuing targ. <laughs> That's definitely you know, yes, ready to eat. <laughs> yeah. Dinner okay. on the hoof, if you will. Dinner on the hoof. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, got all those. <clears throat> I don't think I've got a flaming targ with me here. Oh, I do. Yeah, the the if you got both targs, the one from the event and the one from the sea store, then a uh, fireball is also quite viable. I, I just wasn't. Or at least they work nicely with the fire build. Fire build would be good. It'd be nice to. This a freezing build on this one because she's Andorian is perfect. Yep, that's, that's why I recommend uh, process of fire. <laughs> I thought they did a lot, of, a lot of fire stuff. On Andoria? No. Yeah. Andoria is a freaking ice planet. Yeah, they're, they're cold. I didn't know that. I don't know so everything did... about Star Trek. You know everything <laughs> about everything. You can't fool uh, not me. Star Trek because it's not. It, you don't Star play Trek that game. It's <laughs> is, is not is not mythology. It's I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it in a, in a more yeah, traditional. Yeah, it, it's just terms. not your topic. If you search Respect. cryo, you find all, all four pieces. I'm sorry. Say that again. If you search for cryo, you find all four pieces. Which um, instance are you in, Mom? You're in um, eleven. 11. I'm in eleven. I'm in eleven. So I've got the hey cryo shaper armor shield universal kit frame and the thermal depletion four. pistol pistol. Yeah, the pistol is a sidearm. You just want the, the four piece. That is four pieces. Yep. Okay. You Where put the you? pistol in the, in the uh, sidearm slot and use the extra rifle instead. Ah. And what else while I'm here? Da, 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 da. That's all The um Endothermic. Exothermic? Endothermic. Endothermic, yeah. Endo internal. <laughs> Not the training you want the kid, but yeah. Yeah. The no, endothermic yeah. induction field. I swear I've yep. got it's Hold a on a second. I... You probably have it already I... on someone. Yeah, I was gonna I think I've got it on this one. Hang on a second here. If you're a science oh, character, I wouldn't, you're I wouldn't be surprised. It's it's an odd kid module and it's very good. Mm -hmm. Back in the day when I used to buy everything, there it is. Yeah, got yeah. two of them. <laughs> <laughs> two, they're cheap. You know why not? All right, let's wow. let's put on some toys here. Yeah, Ooh. and then the upgrading starts. <laughs> yeah, well, that's gonna wait for the next upgrading event. Where are you standing right now? I'm over by the bank. Well, I was just over there. I didn't see you. And you're in ESD 11, I think? Yeah. I am. There's a targ next to me. I don't see a targ. Maybe you're not in 11? Oh, but there, you're it not there it is. I'm right there. This bank. This bank with a big red targ in it. Yes. Hi, Ray piggy of bank. Light. How are you doing? I call that the piggy bank. <laughs> well, since my targs are here, yes, definitely. Piggies and target there banks. Let's Hi. see. I'm <laughs> definitely doing well here. <laughs> and there's you, McAllister. What else have I got here? Da, 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 da. A couple of these I'll have to go pick up. Um, you don't want start. the targ. You don't want the tark on this build because the tark is a di different damage type, and we want to have a single damage type if possible. But he's so cute. Yep. Uh, uh, is there is there a cold? There isn't a cold one that I can think of. There's a couple of physical. Physical is also fine. Physical, kinetic, and cold of would, would be fine. Ah, oh, the Karema thing. The Karema trader means you don't have to be anywhere near it. No. I can't think of a cold damage like that, like our targ. They don't have a cold equivalent. Well, there's there's no cold one, but there's a couple mm -hmm. physical ones. Just uh, basic melee enemy uh, ones. But I think they're Klingon primarily, the, yeah. the uh, doggy. 
called? I had a really good idea, but I'm not going to say it. Why not? <laughs> because if I say it and a dev hears it, they can't use it. Devs, put your hands over your ears and go, na 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 na. Okay, we'll give them a <laughs> second here. You can start. All right, they've got their ears covered. They're not listening to us. Go ahead. What's your idea? Lifetime subs get the Borg, uh, the liberated Borg race. Yes. We should. They should do an uh, an XB character uh, option in the Zen store. Oh, I'd like that. Kind of have to do your own XB if you're going to do it, but that would be very cool. I yeah, think that... but it, basically it it unlocks so that you can have an alien creator board. I, I could deal with that. Yeah. Um, where is uh, that trait that I want to recommend to you? Uh... Uh, which one was it? I got so many traits. Ah, oh, there it is. That yeah. sounds horrible. Yeah, I think I got all the ones that an engineer can have. <sighs> For ground. That's terrible. So I don't have yeah. It's a bit annoying because uh, half of them are trash. <laughs> do, 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 do. I am looking up cold damage. Things. Yeah, and what I recommend is the the uh, endothermic induction field, the cold snap, and so then of it course says, it says here that you want the dielectric oscillation personal shield, um, because it's it does cold damage if you're hit by a melee attack. You want the CRM two hundred. No. Which is uh. It's one of the two cord rifles. Yeah. Yeah. The hyper compressed cryo launcher. I prefer the other one. The, the cryonic grenade, the cryotronic modulation, micro cryonic warhead. Those are tactical only. Otherwise, I would have recommended them. Um, but for your um, science. Yep. Well, they had the cryonic pulse, the endothermic induction field, and cryostasis field. I've got the endothermic induction field. And of yeah, course, the other a single target. The hurricane turret you can get from the yeah. summer event. And it's a, a, a cryo immobilizer module and cryonic visor beam. And there's the cryo no. triple and the winter triple. No, nope. nope. I, I veto those options. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Those, all, those are all the options that, that improve cold damage. I know. <laughs> well, due to cold damage. But it, it doesn't form a nice bird if, if, if you could pick up with it. Okay, do I want to pick up the parasitic ice? Um, let's, you have five slots, right? I have Not five. six. I have five. I might get six. Okay, but so we have mats. We have uh, I don't have mats. triage. Mats and triage are the first two. Okay, let me go grab mats. I've got on sale. Oh, mats is a... Uh, mats is a uh, discovery reputation. Yeah. I'm surprised I don't have it. That's just In my opinion, sure everyone should have mats. Uh, there's almost no reason not to. Yeah. I think the only build that I can imagine that wouldn't benefit from mats is a fabrication build. From what? Fabrication build. No, I mean, fabrications what, uh, last. Mud's time device. Oh, I don't like mud's time device. I don't know how to use it. You I have it. it that's yeah, right. you activate every 30 seconds, and it's just a passive um, that whenever you use a kit module, reduces the cooldown of all other kit modules by 15%. Mm -hmm. Which for a wizard, which, we, yeah. which we're currently building, is just amazing. For everyone else, it's just it's merely very, very nice. And there's a couple exploits around mats, which we are not using. And there's one benefit that we are going to use in a bit. Okay. We can essentially remove the cooldown on secondary attacks almost completely. Oh, that'd be useful. If you have temporal as your primary specialization and must time device, then the yeah. secondary attack of your um, weapon has about two to three seconds cooldown, regardless of what it normally has. Well, temporal is my primary. Then you just need a must time device and you're set. 
It's on there. I've got it equipped on this character. Yep. He's then a, he's your secondary evil. attacks can essentially be spammed, assuming you keep mass time device active. <clears throat> and since, since that one can have 100% uptime, it should be doable. Yeah. Well, that's pretty useful information. Um, the other benefit from mass time device it is if you die, you essentially teleport back to where you were 30 seconds ago, mm -hmm. or you activated it, and don't die. <laughs> and don't die. Well, this is kind of a it's, general it's, rule for life, though, you know, don't die. Yeah, it essentially says undo death. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? It it does come in handy every now and then. Do I not have triage? I don't have triage. Amazing. So wanna, I, I was just, you know, uh, bored last night, and so I turned on the TV, and I found myself, I went to Netflix, and I did just play anything. Mm -hmm. And out of out of all the stuff that that could have possibly played, uh, the the series Supernatural played. Really? And I think I watched like seven episodes in a row. <laughs> I didn't even know that thing was a, was like a, an actual show you could oh, watch. Oh yeah, it just, no, no, I mean, it, definitely. My husband watches it. Yeah. I mean, based on my experience with mythology, most of it's BS, but it's yeah. entertaining to watch. <clears throat> I did that but once I, with a uh, a K drama. A what? Korean drama. Mm hmm. Oh. I thought everything they did was drama. No, 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 no. no. Only Let's most. See. I got a friend of mine that's Korean. Everything he does is dramatic. I think he's addicted to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you might have to buy a couple of trades, or uh, at least I would recommend buying a couple of trades. Yeah, I was just looking to see if I had any of those. Um, to absent friends is completely optional. The mm -hmm. um, upgraded gear is essential is uh, for wizard almost essential okay. because it boosts your entire damage output because it gives uh, kit, uh, kit performance. Um, and expedient care is really good for team support because you've got the triage, and it has a nice um, uh, self supporting loop because whenever you use a, a team heal or heal on someone other than you, all your heals get a cool reduction of twenty percent. So whenever you use triage, triage is ready earlier, which means that uh, it triggers more often, which means everything is ready more often because you've got much time device. Hey, thank you for the cheer, Galaxy Star Queen. Very kind of you. Let me go ahead and pick up Expedient Care. Expedient Care is really nice for, for science, uh, for anyone that uh, heals other people. Ups and friends optional. The amazing part is whenever you heal someone mm -hmm. and they're below half hit points, they get healed for thirty percent of their maximum hit points. But it has a half minute cooldown, so it only hits it's one target. It's not that bad. That's not bad though for a cooldown. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, but it's still something you keep it, you have to keep in mind. You can't do it continuously, not on multiple targets. Wow, tons of frost. Thank you. Ooh, upgraded gear, I think we'll hold off on at 6 million. That's a little steep. Yeah, it is amazing okay. for, for wizards. Okay, I'm, I highly I'm, recommend it once you got the money. Hang on a second. I have 854 million. I probably can afford it. No, you can't. There you go. Why am I blinking? Upgraded gear gives you essentially plus 50 hit performance. I think Ooh. you can see why that might be, po uh, might be, yep. uh, might be uh, nice. <laughs> And the kit performance, you get 2.5 kit performance whenever you kill something, until you leave the map. Oh, nice. All right, let's get. Rid and of the caps are at 50, so essentially you get 50 kit performance after the 20th kill. 20 kills is not particularly much on most maps. Let me clear out some of this stuff here. Which one of these ships don't I have? Um, you want creative? Oh, I'm, I'll come back to it. I just. Oh, okay. I mm, like to go through and not try to think sometimes. Yeah. We also want medical vanguard. <laughs> good. Alrighty. Matrix carriage, I'd get it. Um, do, 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 do. Let's start with the basics: creator, fuel technician, and upgraded gear. Okay, there you go. We had to open up everything there. So we got creative. What was the next one? Upgraded gear yeah, and fuel technician. Let's put our two absent friends in there. Which technician? Field technician? Yep. Okay. Alrighty. 
Sign. What else? The, um, Expedient Cure, since I just bought it. Uh, what was Field Researcher? Field Researcher? That's the science only one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what was it? Damage because to, I can't have... It's damage to debuff targets. Then in that case, um, I recommend it for this build. Okay. If you got the space, we might replace it with something else, but definitely uh, as, as yeah, for now. Yeah, I've got nine slots. Yeah, let's see what we fill them up with. Um, already... Expedient Care, you already got? I'm sorry, which um, one? Expedient Care, yep. you already got it. I, I already see it in. as unit. Mm -hmm. What is core dwelling? Oh, that's uh, resistance. resistance. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. Um, then we want uh, sure-footed because sure-footed is always good. Okie doke. Because Rosal you... said so, and he's amazing at the game. Do you have technophile? Should yeah, it's right there. Reconnaissance science vessel. In that case, let's add it because that's also one of the um, wizard options. That's really nice. I then got we got it. two slots left. I got one slot left. That's nine. Uh, the, yeah, right. I got ten. My bad. <laughs> uh, I got eleven. Um, yeah. Alien and the upgrade. Um, Hang on one second. Let me get my MUDS time device out of there. Yeah, which one as well? Um, That's a cool-looking ship. Probably sucks, but it's a cool-looking ship. Let's see. Do, yep. you, do you have Serenity? Which one? Serenity. Serenity. Don't think so. Nope. Do you have mold? Mold? No. Yep. As in, as in molting yourself. That is mm -hmm. the best uh, ground self heal buff that that exists in the game. Um, Medical Vanguard might be another option. What exactly does it do? Medical Vanguard. Uh, your buffs and heals yeah. now strengthen shields. Yeah. That one would be nice. Okay, I'll throw that one in there. It makes nine. Uh, hey, but, can... but that one is optional, essentially. Uh, that one and to absent friends are optional. If you got something better, feel free to replace them. <laughs> Give me one sec. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. Never. <laughs> She's running away. She'll never see her again. I don't see her running. I see her walking. Oh, she's old. She it takes her a while. <laughs> Okay, heavy tachyon mine starship trade. That's There's dumb. So many trades. No, I'm I, I I saw a new ship, or a ship that I don't have, and I'm trying to figure out whether it's worth getting or not. Because <laughs> <clears throat> it doesn't look like it. Many ships are not worth getting. Because it has like its its level five ability. Is heavy tachyon mine. That could and be interesting for a mine bird. Mine birds can be quite important, quite uh, heavy. Radiation bombardment matrix. I've never played a mine build. It just seems like it's too complicated. I don't know that not it's complicated. complicated. You have to. Think you just have to sit it. on. No, nah, not really. You just have to sit on the enemy. Or well, not even that. Since they added the teleport mine build to you, you can just play it as any other build. The mines will simply get teleported to the enemy, it's fine. <laughs> I used to play almost exclusively with mines, because I liked it. I haven't done that yeah. in a while. If you play oh, with, with mines, mind. you want the... Uh... There seems to be a fairly new ship out there that might interest you then, Mom. Which one? The Multi-Mission Reconnaissance Explorer. Is that new? I don't know if it's new, but it's definitely something I haven't seen before. And yeah, Hive Mind is amazing. Hive Mind is one of the DPS um, crates ah. that I highly recommend if you got the money for them. I think it's five million. But it's it's based off the um, the USS Titan. Oh, that would be fun. I love my Titan. Not as much. Uh, as it's I an love. awesome ship. Hey. But if you if you like, this is a really good one if you like uh, mines. Hey, hold on a second, DT. What are you doing home so early? I'm not home. I'm ah. actually joining you. I had to go stop, pick up a shirt the dog wrecked new replacement, and I was about to drive home, so oh, well, hi. I forgot to join this way. Well, that's one way. <laughs> Damn, we were trying to get out before you'd find us. Yeah. Um, Mom, if you got the money and are willing to spend it, hive mind. Hive mind. How much is hive mind? Five-ish. Yeah, got it. It's yeah, only last money. Checked. Only money. It's only money. 
Oh no, it's three point seven. Easy peasy. It that is one of the ones I recommend everyone to have, because every person that um, you get plus two percent damage for everyone in the team, Ooh. and an additional two percent for everyone with hive mind. So the more people have it, the better the trade becomes. <laughs> oh, that's a good point then. It's All like right. the armor that I got that that gets five percent for everybody in the team. And it increases their damage. That's a really useful. That, that's that's what we that's need to do. That's the uh, gamma, isn't it? It's yeah. The the polyweave. Sorry. That's... Yeah, the gamma yeah. three piece. Gamma concerted armaments. It is. Yeah, I've been using that whenever I was uh, using a team a team booster. Um, but with all three pieces, it's just it's really quite amazing. We gotta Decent. get a group together that has all everybody has that equipped, and then hive mind equipped, and just that run becomes the, amazing, and, yeah. <laughs> um, because it has a what the hell? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a really good thing for if we want to put some serious work into it. But my health has never been higher, so I can't complain too much about that. <laughs> it's good to be immortal some days. Say that again, sir? It's good to be immortal. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I have to jump off buildings every now and again to keep myself humble. This is STO. We don't jump off buildings. We jump off mountains. That's true. <laughs> yep. All right, so I've got me some ground gear. I got me some kit modules. I got my own Narg, maybe. Oh, kit modules. We had the first two. We had uh, triage uh, kit and Kit modules mugs. I've got endothermic. I have got triage. I've got anti-time entanglement, which I can get rid of, but I like it. Cold fusion. Let's just do them. Then a one is missing, which is resistant is futile. Do I have that one? There's a short green alien near you, Mom. Yes, I know. That's right. Ooh, resistance is futile. I do not have that one. It, it might even be in the in the fleet bank. But it's so cheap. Uh, it's. Yeah. <laughs> Where's a green? I don't see a green alien. Right here. Oh, she was right there. She is oh, right there. the... The... the well, uh, see my Orion. It, oh, it's yeah, only 80,000. It's 80,000 for it. <laughs> It's, yeah, as I, as I said, it's kind of cheap. <laughs> it's really cheap. Let's see what I want to get rid of there. This is the the Starfleet version of, a, of an Orion. Okay, so I've got endothermic, Orion. I've got triage, I've got cold fusion. I have an anti-time entanglement field, which I can get rid of. It's nice to have. If you've got a better recommendation, I'll take it. That would be, we already have five. Yeah. We got MUDs. No, oh, MUDs. That's got... what I didn't, I didn't put my MUDs up there. Yep. Uh, for shame. Well, I knew we were talking about something oh, else. Shame. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> hey, we got this um, much going in, on. In the future, mm -hmm. for all your science builds, you MUTs and triage is basically where you start. Okay. And then you build whatever you want to build with it. Sometimes you replace triage, but usually you don't because you want at least one kit module that keeps you alive. Yeah, that generally helps. Uh, living is for losers. And for the uh, devices, you yep. want uh, the. Uh, I usually have the remodulator equipped at all times because why not? Which one? Um, the remodulator, the frequency remodulator. Yeah, see, I don't Borg, usually but... unless I know I'm going to go into Borg because you can always grab one of those. Yeah, I just have it because why not? Um, then the shard is, is always nice. The gambling device is always a good option. I don't think I've got a gambling device on this one, but let's double check. <laughs> If you don't have you it, you have a gambling device. What sort of Ferengi are you? <laughs> I and have if a you, gambling device. If you don't have a gambling device, then the um, Riser Triple. The Terran Rainbow Fortune Triple. Cookie is good too. Which one? The Fortune Cookie Triple. Yeah, Fortune Cookie Triple. I usually have. What does that one do? Well, aside from this run speed boost, um, it gives you bad. Bad jokes. Bad. Ah. So run speed. Um, yeah, it is yeah, run speed. Know. It's a plus five 
run or five percent run speed is one of the better ones. It is the best one actually out there for yeah. I, I prefer the rainbow turtle because it gives you two point five percent crit severity or crit chance per person in the team using it. Yep. Which yep, to me I makes it better. It. Makes essentially the uh, the cheap man's gambling device. Or the poor man's gambling device, whatever you want to call it. Poor Get man. three different careers with those. With those, with those rainbow triples, you do a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I love my all my stuff over on the other tune. So we will live without it for the moment, but I will grab that. Um, yeah, if you got it, then the temporal flash generator as an uh, oh shit button. Yep. I've got and that. And then, essentially everything um, thrown onto the hotkey. Well, I've got the Paradox Corrector as my oh shit button. Yeah, either one works. Yep. So I'm good. As long as you have no shit button. Um, and for Reputation Traits? Yeah. Alright, Reputation Traits. Um, we start with the basics of the Regenerative Shield Augmentation. We can just drag and drop them over. Let's grab them over. Oh. Fine, fine, fine. Because regenerating mm, okay. your shield is always a good option. Yep. Yes, it is. What else would you like? Um. Then. For you, we replace. Which one do we replace? I'm currently looking at my uh, loadout. Well, this um, is my... You are adjusting for Borg, so we don't need to be ready for them. <laughs> so we can replace that slot. Okay. Active armor hardening. Okay. Then the medical nanites. I have those up there. That's active ground. I've got that up there. Unless there's yeah. two of them. There's two. Okay. Medical nanites oh, are also it's passive. Ar it's already on there. Then I really like the Landry's tenacity. It's a face. Yep, I got it. And then the last one, um, the cryo nope, one is nope, nice? I've only got four. Ah, uh, you don't have the unlocked? No, nope, we haven't done that yet. Ah, uh, disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Disappointing, Bob. Mom. Hey. Um, also really amazing is actually the um, Omega Graviton Pulse module. Just so that you've heard of it and seen it once. It's the one that gives you a small chance for kinetic damage against Borg. Uh, sorry, smotion for kinetic damage, double against Borg, and Borg adapt to your energy weapon slower. Okay, which, and which one is this again? The Omega Graviton, okay. put in the middle of the screen. Okay. That one is amazing because it means that in a normal Borg mission, mm -hmm. I need to remodulate about four times for the entire mission. Wow. Oh, definitely going to grab that for my next Borgy. <laughs> That's an amazing <laughs> change. <laughs> I don't have to deal with their with their augmentation at all. That's also an option, but I like my energy damage. <laughs> yeah, I, I bring either the Tommy gun or the uh, TR one one six A. Actually, Lex. I, no, I, have... I just have I have the Mako set or the Mako set. I do Lex knives. <clears throat> it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I just you don't to do Lex knives. You do the presidential axe. I know you. <laughs> Actually, DT. That's how this whole thing started. I was using the presidential axe against a changeling. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, uh, is with that completed. So we're having a little too much um, fun with that. Yeah, primary specialization should be temporal, but I think you already got that. Yep, I might. And I don't really care about the secondary. So I'll pick whatever you want for space. Uh, my personal favorite is, is uh, Miracle, but it doesn't really matter. So, optimize for space in that regard. Mm. And then, yeah, if you got everything on the hotkey, mm -hmm. except for the oh shit button. I tend to manually go on ground. I still, I, I would rec highly recommend the the, uh, the, uh, the hotkey. I will have to figure that one out the way I want to set it up. But I will play I with that one. I can give you my setup, but yeah. If you want to send me it, that's cool. I will take a look at it. Um, bup, bup, bup. or put it in. Uh... Yeah, I just need to find it. Um... <laughs> My objection, Ray, to the Zephyr shotgun slow. is I don't like the effect. It's more, it's it's too slow. 
And it's too short range. Mom would, would find something wrong with the best item in the game. Yeah, she, I she would. would but always find the problems. I, well, yeah, it's my job. Broken holes. Uh, where is a mom? <laughs> There's a mom message. Um, that is my full keybind, which probably contains stuff that you don't need. But the one you want is the uh, pause button. I got it, got it on pause. Wait, right not you. Okay. Pick whichever one you want. The um, two hotkeys I, I got didn't is, say uh, the... that Paragon did not say the shotgun is, is... I know the shotgun is not the best item in the game. The old one's NPC pet is the best item in the game. Is I want a, a plant that goes around and, and acts like a rat and a plant at the same time. Wow. What? No, no, I'm looking at the file that Rosal sent. Don't judge my pet. I was not judging anything. I was just reading the file. Uh huh. Uh huh. It sounds like you're judging me. All right, uh, geez, the, the file is a bit, bit bigger. <laughs> What's that? I said, let's give Frost a moment of silent judgment as we look at him. <laughs> um, sh <laughs> short version of, of the uh, file. Um, <clears throat> F8, F9, F10, 11 is combat lock stuff. Ignore it. Um, e and button 4 is the same thing, depending on which one you prefer. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer the, the mouse button 4, oh, yeah. because that's my thumb button. That selects the pinned target. And then run tray seven. Okay. And that one is meant as a heal. So whenever I have single target heals, um, I throw them in tray seven, and then I can simply pin a target and hit okay. that one hotkey and heal that target without, uh, yeah, having to use menu selected in the middle of combat. I shall have Mom, to that. Paragon yes. is bullying me. DT, why are you bullying him? No, Paragon is. I'm bullying. sorry, Duffy. Why are you? Why are you bullying him? That's my job. <laughs> And uh, the Q and the the pause, mm -hmm. um, or oh, right, Q and only Q is relevant uh, relevant for the build, is um, tray ten, secondary tech, primary tech, tray uh, tray hey. nine. So in tray ten, all the the important stuff is in. In tray nine, all the stuff that would be nice if it was active, but it doesn't matter if it isn't. Um, and yeah, essentially you use your weapon as often as possible. It's all one button. So essentially during the match, during, during the match, you just keep spamming Q. And the bid runs. I'm gonna. Definitely, you're not allowed to use logic against me. How do you have ten trays in a ground build? You can simply cycle through them to uh, switch the numbers. Uh, but you also, okay. You can also edit the he's, UI he's file. He's a thinking cheater. That's what. That's why. <laughs> no, you can actually, uh, if you export UI UI file, you can scroll to the correct uh, location of the UI file, edit the number of trays for ground to whatever you want. Okay. And save it, and Got then it. import it again, and you have more race. Okay. He's a hacker man's. I, I do what like I want. It. I tried it. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm usually usually uh, seeing only tray ten as my top of the, of the three, mm -hmm. um, because that's the primary part of the build. Then I see tray two, which is my manual buttons. Okay. Then I see tray one, which is essentially. Um, Primary attack, second attack, thir third attack, so the melee. And then my uh, frequency mod modulator and a couple of clickies in case I want them. Essentially, abilities that are too bad to be, to be used regularly. <laughs> Stuff like the cover shield. You don't want that uh, auto cast. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I've got some wonderful Orbital stories about that. And the Orbital Strike. The Orbital Strike is even worse. I actually did the math on it. Yeah. It reduces your DPS. But it's cool. It moves around and hits things on its own. It, it only moves around if you have the trade. And with the trade, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. With the like trade, it's perfectly all right. If you don't have the trade, it's actually reducing your damage. <laughs> yeah. Because it takes ages to cast. Yeah. Yeah. That's my biggest issue with it is I want it is now I'm and never it's using it. delayed for too long. Yeah, I'm never using it. It essentially is my tray. I have it, but I never touch it. What is the name of that character? Which one? Mom just reminded me, and now I'm confused. Which one? The the spoiled girl in Willy Wonka. 
um, um, Veron Ver Veronica Ver or something? No, not Veronica. Verushka? Verunka. Ver yeah. Yeah. I can't remember now. Do, 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 do. Veruca Salt. I had to go look yes. it up. Must so. Or Verica Salt. Thank you, Ray. Ray got it before we got it. My mouse control is going to be broken. And now it's working again. I have no you idea. I what have a plant as a pet. You I have broken everybody. toys today, don't you? Yeah, for some reason. It, it was working until just now. Literally just now it stopped working. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. See so, yeah, the thermal field. Uh, resistance uh, is futile. Buff. Whatever. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need that one. No, no, I don't need that one. Thank you. Don't mind me. I'm just breaking maps. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, hey, it's if you can, odd. go for like... it. It's very odd. On my main character, I keep getting thrown back to uh, the, the transporter pad. On other characters, I can get out there. Evidently, yes. you're not trying hard enough on that character. That's interesting. I I, I take the same path, and uh, my main character gets thrown back. Well, another character I, I I don't play very much gets all the way to the back of the shuttle. <laughs> well, I can get outside every time. It's it's actually not very hard, but I don't know how to get back inside. That's what I'm trying to figure out. You just switch in an instance, and then you're back. No, I don't want the easy way to do it. I could teach you. You didn't specify. Won't charge. You won't charge, you sure? Yeah. I'm lactose intolerant. I don't need milkshakes. <laughs> wow. Nip, 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 nip. Okay, good enough. Nope, don't need that one there right there. Okay. Don't need that one there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm happy And then enough. essentially, in this build, you essentially throw all the kit modules into the first tray. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, tray 10. And all the devices you throw that you keep active all the time, so everything except for the the click button, um, you keep in tray 9. The class abilities, usually tray 9. Because quite frankly, I can't be bothered to cast them manually, <laughs> and I would forget—I would forget about them because they are so specific. So I just hold, throw them into train nine, and they get cast, and they do something, and they will help, and whatever. I won't forget them, so I get some benefit from them. I might not get as much as I would if I cast them perfectly, but it's better than if I forget them. <laughs> yeah, then. Um, in tray 10, the first one is Mutz, the second one is uh, Defiance, the active trait, the active reputation trait, and then Triage. Those are the first three, and the rest just doesn't really matter which order you have them in. Except for Risen Shooter, which is uh, the um, the last one on the tray 10. I'm going to play with the trays a little bit later. I'm just doing yeah. a temporary setup for now so I can figure out what the heck I like with them. But I will try them. And see what Rim is doing. looking is, is suspiciously looking at me. All right, do you guys want to go do something now that I've gotten all my toys? Yeah, let's do some random ground. Yep. How about something? I, <laughs> I I can't. I would love to, but I gotta actually get some stuff done. Ah, real life. <laughs> I gotta yeah. pretend that I, I'm a I'm a um, functional human being. I, I have yeah. a like 18 hour work day tomorrow. And then I have to drive to Chicago at the end of that. And I still haven't done my laundry. So, yes, I can oh. appreciate that. I have enough clothes to get through tomorrow. But the alternate, I can either do my laundry tonight or take it all to Chicago. And like, hi, honey, it's good to see you after two weeks. Here's my laundry. Well, that sounds like very college. That sounds like a college student. Yeah, yep. Exactly. I don't like doing that. All you got to do is bat your pretty little eyes and say, honey, I... I I thought of you every time I didn't wash my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so invite your team and then just pick a random ground mission. Okay. Well, fine people and Danes. Um, I will talk to you people later. Yep, and see ya. Uh, 
I, I will I will do my best to, well, to be around a little we'll bit more. We'll be here. That would be great. We miss you. <sighs> and thank you for the well, cheers. Well, thank you. Well, of course. Uh, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, yeah. my ultimate goal is to land on one of those uh, flying shuttles. <laughs> I don't know if they have collision turned on or not, but uh, <laughs> by default, they they should. It doesn't work that way. Who else would like to join us for some ground? I would say we start with the I would recommend we start with the power so you get used to the buttons. Ooh, I love power. Power, power, power. And then we do something a little bit tougher. Okay. Unless you also we can get to join us if anyone. Also, uh, keep in mind that you got clickies from your sets. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Ray, what's oh, your yes. handle? Oh, that's right. I don't know. I don't have you as a friend in game yet. Are you still here? There you are. Let's do this the easy way. Yeah, the, the, this character was able to get out here no problem. My main character gets thrown back every time. Hmm. Yeah, some characters have some flex or property set for some random reason that are weird. Yeah. Ah, from what I'm seeing it on stream, the outfit on this character, I made it for the winter event. <laughs> Right. Anybody else? We got three people here for a little popo. So hey. everyone takes lane and we just uh, solo it. <laughs> can we can we do popo private? I don't know if we can with three. I think we have to have five still. Yeah, popo's five. Yep. Yeah, if you look in the shuttle bay, I'm there. Would you like to join us? Yeah, I'll, I'll just have to switch over. Okay. Do you want to switch to a different tune, you said? Or do you want me to invite Samantha? Uh, no, uh, I'll, I'll switch over to Yuri. Okay. Yeah, I, I get a kick out of going to these places where we shouldn't be and then sending screenshots to Kale. <laughs> <laughs> you are so mean to him. I did not listen to the... Uh, stream last night anything good i presume there was a stream last night they're gonna uh, start announcing the anniversary right it, ships next yeah. week what was that they're gonna start announcing the anniversary ships next week cool about the legendaries i should say because okay. we know there's a legendary packets annual now yeah i was in class last night having somebody decide to do an upwards supported knife hand as a demonstration to show me how it felt against a rib <laughs> Yeah, that was a good one against the ribs. Yeah, right when uh, Tin Forward started last <laughs> night, a good friend of mine called needing tech support. <laughs> of course, because timing's everything. Of course. So, four pe people for Pavel. Alrighty, let me get us queued for Pavel. Yeah, it should, uh, should be fast. I'm still about 15 minutes or so away from home, so I can't help you. No worries. No worries at all. But please make it advanced. <laughs> of course. Green alert? Uh, green flashy, yeah. Green flashy thingy. Ray, go for it. You don't have to hold back. Weeboo? Weeboo. Weeboo. We got Weeboo, Weeboo. But, we, but we don't have a Wolfie. Something's wrong. Well, no, I'm <laughs> going to get a stream deck. I'm going to get Wolfie recorded, and then it occurred to us. <laughs> go to, You know how you can do Cameo, and you can basically um, pay well-known people to do things, either to uh, make phone answering voices and things like that, or greetings to send to people for their birthdays. We need to get people who do voice acting in Star Trek and Star Trek Online to do Weewoos for us. I still uh, think Robert Ricardo has one. Pardon? 
Robert Picardo. Uh, Robert, yeah, Robert Doc. Picardo's on uh, on uh, on cameo. A lot of them are on cameo. Jonathan Frakes is on cameo. I I still think you need Jeffrey Combs going. We woo pigskin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Duffy, not Dark Fate. No, it's such a bad movie. No. The Terminator Sometimes. thing? It, it was all right. I mean, it's not perfect, but... That's the one with Matt Smith, right? Yeah. yeah. Matt Smith was uh, Genesis. Dark Fate was one where Linda Hamilton returned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could have had a sixth with Mark. Or, yeah, fifth with Mark, my bad. Um, one thing I would like to point out for the build. Yes, yes. Keeping my spine device active at all times is fairly important. Okay, because okay. it allows you to fire your secondary attack about every three seconds. Okay, we gotta find my muds. It should be the first button in the, in the top row, in my, in my opinion, so that you quickly see it. Give me a sec here. There we go. And of course, now my phone goes off. Of course. Hey, the jaw, thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate it. Oh, I won't go that way if Ray's going that way. Since Ray's going to be awesome. I, I, I've broken the, this map in the uh, the mission version. Where's the third one? There it it's is. It's not particularly hard to break uh, STO. It, is it? No, is it there isn't. a map you haven't broken yet? No, he's got uh, a map. Pretty much. Uh, I, I'm sure there's a couple I need to go back and do. I should ask if you still have the person in the break. No, but I can get in there. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Yep. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I sent in the photo of me on top of the bird of prey at the uh, shipyard. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Kale oh, nearly cool. jumped out of his seat. I think you do decent damage, don't you? Yeah. I'm a happy girl. Yeah, you also want to keep the wrist suited up as much as possible. Because it essentially doubles your damage. Sorry, say that again? I want to keep the which one? Resist the suitor, the Borg okay. one. Okay, let me switch that around then. It barely doubles your damage. Assuming you are the one that gets the first hit. Yep. Yeah, survival should also be qu quite easy with um, triage going off so often. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna move triage to a different position. Oh, right, already there. Um, triage is also a team buff. Because you got the uh, two abilities in it. The two uh, the two ups and trans and expedient, uh, heal, um, expedient care. And expedient care essentially makes triage a team buff. Okay. Whenever you, you fire triage, you give everyone that uh, gets hit 20% damage. <laughs> Except yourself. But still, right? <laughs> it's a yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that. By the way, it also triggers on the pop and heating crystal. Say that again? <laughs> the pop and heating crystal, if you remember that one. Yeah, absolutely. I usually have it up. It, al it also triggers on that. Really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> On my current character, I got a Shield Pulse, which is an engineer-only ability. And Shield Pulse, with all the cooldown reduction stuff I got going, essentially means that I can keep the um, expedient uh, care buff up half the time. So, anyone within 5 meters of me gets essentially 10% damage, damage increase. 
and about 30% shield resistance, because why not? <laughs> yeah, I, blame about my, I blame my uh, fascination with break mapping on the uh, content drought of 2011. <laughs> That's a long time to keep that going. Well, it happened 10 years ago. I gotta think about that stuff. <laughs> you dead? <laughs> okay, this is getting easy now. That's that's wrong. Things shouldn't be this easy. I would consider this a medium quality bill. This is nice. A crystal is under attack. Defend it. It'll be a good bit easier with a hotkey. Yep, because that's definitely. automated. It's actually not bad. But it's a, I've got to resequence it to where I like it if I'm going to do it this way. It'd be easier on a hotkey, you're right. Alright, I'm in that last stretch to get home. I'm going to hang up here. I'll try to get there in time to join you, but okay, we'll see. I want to go to 7. Which one is 7? That one is seven. I think. Well, if you look at it, it's the one that doesn't have a whole bunch of uh, circles with little people filling yep, it. In I the found map. it. Killing you while I'm standing here, thank you. Yeah, Translation, also, um, under the waterfall. You might also want to activate the auto fire on your weapon. Because oh, thank you, yeah. You're not... That would also increase your damage output quite a bit. <laughs> yep. And you'll be amazed how often you can actually use the uh, cone attack from your rifle. On the Winter Wonderland, you can actually activate my time device, and if you've got Temporal Primary Specialization, you can essentially spam the secondary attack of the uh, full, uh, full auto rifle. Uh, of the the, the snowfall art rifle, and that one is ridiculous against the snowman. <laughs> like you can essentially use this just must time device, temporal primary specialization, and the rifle. You can essentially use solo two lanes. Holy crud! <laughs> so I had that active. A friend of mine had had that active. So we essentially just won the won the entire event with about five people. It's supposed <laughs> to be fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> But it got easy. It's still fun. Karen reinforcements have arrived. The amount of fear that we got going here is also kind of ridiculous. Yeah. You see that blue circle around me? Yep. Whenever you get hit by that, you get about 800 shield and 30% shield resistance for 10 seconds or so. Nice. So, yeah. Stand in it and you essentially don't lose shields. Hi, Jaw. How are you doing? Thank you for the comments. There. That worked better. Yeah, it's a shame that the uh, Baufel Outrifle is so freaking expensive. Because I would really like to give you the, uh, the engineer build for that. I swear I have got a box of them someplace. I gotta go look and see what's in it, though. If you got an engineer with that rifle, mm -hmm. I can give you an amazing build. That might be my best build yet. Have it's actually so ridiculous that I stopped using it because it wasn't fun for everyone else. I reliably did about 60 to 70 percent of the damage of the entire team. Reliably. Yeah, that would take some of the fun out for everyone else. Yeah. That's the reason I stopped using it. But I think giving it to you and you not using a hotkey, I think would still be fine. You're not using it all the time, so it would probably be fine.
But yeah. Although I must say I'm still a little bit miffed with um, um, Cryptic for making oh. Engineer the best ground by such a large margin. Yeah. Especially, yeah. especially, um, I'm especially mad for, with them for making Engineer better in the science stuff than science. Engineers are better healers on ground, and engineers are better controllers on ground, and Which, both no. of those should not be the case. Correct. Yeah, one of the few maps I've not broken yet is the uh, Starfleet Academy tutorial map. Really? How would you break it? I mean, what is that that could be broken? He likes to go places that you shouldn't be able to go. And he still goes there. Okay. Cutscenes. Yeah. I know they are coming. I still want to kill them. Okay, well, everybody's going up there. I'll go up here then. So then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how are you liking the build? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a good build. I'm having a lot of fun here. Just getting my rhythm down for what goes where. It's definitely going to make this a tune I enjoy playing again. How's that? <laughs> That was a goal. Yep, definitely. I mean, the bird doesn't need to be the best bird ever, but it needs to be a bird that makes fun. That's that exactly That makes the game it. fun. Yeah, that's why I like theme builds. I know that theme builds, single damage type uh, builds, are not that amazing in general. Um, but they are way more fun than Kitchen Sink. Well, it's not that mine are Kitchen Sink, but they're not this thematic. My current build is actually a uh, phaser build. I think one of the strongest um, damage type builds that you could make mm -hmm. would would be if you had a Romulan Engineer. Then you could make a plasma build that is uh, amazing. I think I have a Romulan Engineer. I will have to go double check. Because the reason you can't do that on another uh, on a non-Romulan is because you want the plasma damage for your drones. And you get the plasma damage for the drones only as a Romulan. So the characters get their uh, phaser, the Klingons could get their disruptor, and uh, Dominion get their Polaron. Mm -hmm. Only Romulans get plasma. Yep. Yeah. So for the full uh, damage type, uh, single damage type build, you want that. Then the plasma white beam rifle. Yep. Because it's amazing. Yes. This is a shooter because it doubles all your damage if you do a single damage type. And then the um, the, the Romulan uh, Imperial Navy uh, armor and kit. Yes. Or maybe not the armor, but definitely the kit. The armor actually, for what it is, is darn good. Uh, actually, I would only use a kit. I would then use the, I think it was the Kentari set. Really? Armor and shield. Let's get this over with, yep. Idiot. I got to do. Let me uh, link you the uh, the items after this mission, so you can see why I would uh, like them. Yeah, I was five seconds, to, uh, two seconds to slow by killing them. Well, that was fast. That's probably the fastest Pavel we've ever done. Ed and I do it almost. Fast. Well, Ed and I do it almost every day. We like Pavo. I love Pavo, but it got too easy. Yeah. I mean, on Elite, the difficulty is exactly the same. So yeah, you got a little bit of ice on you. <laughs> <laughs> I've melted. I've thawed. Go step in the sauna. That was excellent. Yeah, let me actually link you the, uh, the shield I meant, the shield and the armor. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just picked up the Kantari on uh, my Jem'Hadar. Uh, yeah, Saturday. Because that one is a plus twenty percent uh, plus one damage on the two piece. Yeah, I've got it on this account as well, but I would put. Yeah, it's it's uh, character bound. Yeah, because it's mission reward. Oh, I know, it, but I'm sure I've got it on my other ones too. Yeah, um, the amazing part about it is, um, I mean, the amount of plasma damage that you get from this uh, this set is amazing. Oh. You get twenty percent for having the two piece. Mm -hmm. And the shield has a 10% chance when you get hit to increase your personal damage by 20% for 4 seconds. Really? Wow. Yeah. And the shield has 50% uh, hit point regen. And mm -hmm. both the shield and the armor have a 12.5% chance to give you about 300 temporary hit points for a minute when you take damage. Okay, I'm not yeah. saying that this tune's got the Kentari stuff. But yeah, I will go grab it on my... Uh... If you want a plus one, those two yeah, that would be are definitely fun. very, very nice. Definitely would be fun on that one. And that's one of my other main tunes who really deserves getting a little bit better equipment because the, I play her a the, lot. Yeah, and the weapon for that is definitely the plus one bite beam. Because that was actually broken. Yep, that I've got. Because the secondary attack has the same range as a mine attack 35 meters. Hang on one sec, I guess. And if you use that, it must time device and temporary uh, primary specialization means that you can uke that uh, cone every three seconds. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. If you then throw in Resistance Tutor to double the damage, you essentially one shot everything within that cone whenever you fire. I think that's enough damage, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Kel, 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 Kel. Where are you, Kel? Kel. I'm going quickly. How come I don't see Kelpernia here? <laughs> Do you want to switch, switch and build the plasma build real quick? Hang on one sec here. Um... Just want somebody want an invitation over to this fleet. I want to make sure they get it. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is oh sorry, this is my uh, Romulan is a tech, not an engineer. So. Dang, that doesn't work. That's okay. I can make. I think I've got a Romulan engineer on the other account. So I will have <laughs> to play with that one. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to do one more ground on that other account. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, um, it's a game. You're supposed to play it as much as you want. Damage. You're just fine. It is fun. It should be fun for everybody. That's a plasma feedback cascade. Which one? Which turret was the uh, the plasma turret? Quality epic, please. Um, and that's an anti proton, I don't care. Can't recall. Regardless, we, we still get it, we still manage to get it together. Yeah. But yeah, we can also do another round with this tune if you want. I would like to do one more round with this tune before I go off and fold my laundry. Yep, my... throw me an invite and we can go. Give me one sec here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Duh. <laughs> Sorry. Real life sticks. Yep. Snuck in for one second. Relax is doing what it does best. Being annoying. Mm -hmm. 
Buddy, I'm glad you're happy. Oh, yeah. The only thing That's... I don't like about the cold bird is the rifle looks crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually not one of my big concerns. The um, One of the benefits from um, the cold bird, the same as with the lightning bolt, is that most NPCs uh, have almost no resistance against it. So you tend to do more damage than you would expect for the numbers you, uh, you see on the tooltips. Sorry, for some reason I'm having a personal issue at the moment. Let's see if I can get this fixed real quick. No, that's not what I want. Um... Their fleet marks are full. There we go. I just dumped my fleet marks into the, uh, the research project. Sorry, my system just logged me out on something else, which I wasn't asking it to do. Yeah. Hello. Hello. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. That's not what I want. I gotta reset this. I'll be right back. Hi. I can't hear anything. Okay. Oops, yep. Yeah. Why is it doing this? That's what I want. And I made it all. Yay! 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 Yay. Wow, that was really weird. What was? Uh, something I was trying to do suddenly logged me out of all of my systems at once and it won't let Ow. me log back in. You yeah, broke it. Yeah, it kind of did. A little freaky. Of all the things they turned collision off on, this table over here confuses me. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Whee oh whee, that was getting scary for a sec. Wow, Galaxy oh. Star Queen got a T6 from a Phoenix uh, package. Yay! Congratulations! It is. Those are not particularly easy to get. No, but very I got nice. 350. It's Speaking of things, oh, thank you, nice people. Okay, we've got the Dilithium Boost running on everything now. Thank you, folks. Well, everything where yep, we can I, put it on. <clears> yeah, <throat> I just did it. All right, so now that my life is calmer again and I'm not going to have to cry about losing everything. Who else would like to join us for uh, one last ground event before I go off to do real-world stuff? Yeah, I, I can join you. I just finished Ding. How about we do something a bit, bit harder? How about um, Attack on Terror Ignore? Sure. The only thing to remember in that one is not to use Risen is Futile on Lita. Okay. Because that messes up her AI quite a bit. Okay. Who else wants to join us? And then it can us. take ages. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Yesterday I had uh, finally completed the last uh, R&D pro uh, project I needed to max my uh, R&D uh, skills. So I finally got that completed. All R&D at 20. Hey. For a while. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I would join you, but I'm gonna worry about getting some food first. So I'll Get some food first. Take care of the puppers. Yep, Puppos is out too, so I have to check on her. I just fed her. Just woke her up and fed her, so. Oh, poor baby.
I keep getting uh, 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 what's what I'm looking for here. Um, I keep getting uh, told I'm freakishly thin on this character. Mark's going to join us for Tarek Norris. Yeah, yeah. Freakishly thin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're like, why are you so thin? It's like, you're, there's you're, a reason. You're thin, but you're not freakishly thin. I've got a tune that's freakishly thin. Well, she she's a liberated Borg, so normally she, she's supposed to look like this. Ooh. Yeah. Puppies in, leftovers. <laughs> Puppies in, the leftover spaghetti is heated up. Uh -huh. Yay. There you go. So she's officially a skin job. Yeah, just a slip on some paint and it will work. <laughs> as soon Essentially. as Mark accepts, we can cue this up. Ah, I should switch my weapon. Let's pick the toy. This toy. Oh, it looks so wrong holding that like this. That's <laughs> why I can't this way till tomorrow. I'll be there in a few hours. Yeah. Mark, accept the invitation. Because if it waited till tomorrow, then it, then it would be too easy yeah, at that point. Tomorrow's just going to be a mean day. Mark, accept the invitation. You're using a sniper rifle? That's the uh, TR-116A. Yeah. Um, must say, I quite like sniper rifles as a concept. But in this game, with the uh, enormous time that it takes to fire the secondary attack, they're just not worth it. Oh yeah, that's why I leave it on my uh, my uh, one of my bridge officers. Just in case I need it. Yeah. It saved me a few times from glitched uh, uh, bad guys that I can't progress if you can't kill them. Hmm. <laughs> Sent Mark an invitation that's not going through. There was some Tholian uh, <coughs> ship mission I was on where one of the Tholians was in the wall and I could not yeah. progress without killing yeah. him. I've had this that happen. Me. It happened once in Sompek. There was one stuck in the wall. This is before uh, the Agony Field Generator existed. And we couldn't get him out of the wall. It took us like 15 minutes to get him out. But we were at like level 60 or 75, something crazy. We weren't going to give up. Mark, accept the gosh darn invitation. Um, I switched characters. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, did I just accept? Yeah. Yeah, and hi, I'm it and nothing's, nothing's happening. Thank you. Yeah, okay. yeah the highest I've ever managed to get in Zompic was by 1,702. Wow. We just uh, lock out and log in. And we decided to end it there because we are playing for 11 hours. <laughs> and we yeah, re no. reached the uh, NCC 1702. So we decided that wave is enough. <laughs> yeah. That, that at some point is enough. We could have gotten... We were, we, were, we were in absolutely no danger of dying. Absolutely no danger at all. Well, at that point, no, you wouldn't be, would you? It stops scaling up at level of, uh, at wave 100. If you manage to survive to wave 110 or 120 or something like that, then it's essentially only a matter, a matter of endurance. Okay, try that one. Okay, which tuner on? Same one? Yes. I like how yeah. says you're not found. 
Um, when then, I tried, every time I tried messaging it, it says you're ignoring me. So you might well, put me on ignore. Hang on a second. Too. Maybe I'm ignoring you. Maybe I don't love you anymore. <laughs> Every couple of people I talk with a lot, and somehow I managed to ignore them all one night, and I don't know how. Work, 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 work. That is a long ignore list. We were just chatting though, weren't we? So. Yeah, I got you for a moment. You might clip me on back, right? Clip me by accident. I don't know. That happens. You can, you can always also try to send the invite just to the account name, at account name, okay. rather than the uh, full character name, so in case there's something misspelled or something yeah. weird like that. Starting here. Brain dead today. Did you get that invitation? No. Nope. Request to join team. Can I do that? No. Try, try to see if that works. Yeah, you're not I'm on my ignore list. Allegiance. allegiance does not match. Yeah, that's why I was trying to make it private. Oh, you know what? There you are. You slid all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now let's see if it works. You were ignored. <laughs> yeah, you were ignored. You were way at the bottom, though. Well, it says you're still not found. Will I just relog again? No, give it a sec. Sometimes it just takes yeah, maybe a it's moment. A, maybe it's such instances, so you, you update as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I meant mom. Oh, me? Yep. You are moving from the list. Maybe switch instances so it uh, updates your, uh, your client. Okay. Assume it still doesn't work. Player yeah, not found. change helps with a lot of uh, issues. Tell you what, let me do this. I'm going to put you in charge here. Message, you know, right? Okay, you. can you try and invite from there? Um... If I knew it was a character name. Uh, L-E-H-K-A-P. I can put an X in strike group. Okay, there. Do you see him in strike group now? I managed to join. Good, now we're it down to three people. Anyway to... Yeah, because apparently, um, yeah, I know what the issue is. Team versus uh, uh, task force. Okay. We need to leave the team so I can invite everyone into the task force. Okay. I got some people in my task force. Hang on, let me do this again. See if that works. Okay. So we still need um, Ray. Yeah, I'm just trying. Um, are you still in the old task, task force? Because by right click, you I can't get get don't get the uh, oh, there it is invite to task force. Yeah, sometimes Where it takes it, a moment. Who else is missing? Um, the, was Yuri gonna join us on this one? There he goes. Yeah. Okay. We got five. Whew! Finally. <laughs> and we want the sword and Tagnor. Yes. And we want this on advanced. At least yes. And ready, everyone? Yep. Yep. Starting. Mm-hmm. Castle assembled. 
My game just crashed. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> That's okay. We have a moment or two. How do we do yes? Now, if only my fingers would work with my brain. Mm. <laughs> Been there. Brain? We don't use brain around brain here. Brain and brain! <laughs> what is brain? Loading. Loading. Yeah, we can just take it a little bit easy. Mm -hmm. We don't need to rush in the, after we uh, get the bar. Oh, loaded us into the bar. There we go. Mark, you got some injuries. damage on you. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you died on ground? Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. <laughs> Happens to some of us, you know? I don't have any traits or anything on this uh, character. Tentacle. Okay. I can get why, why you would die. By the way, the best tanking trait, or, uh, sorry, tanking kit module for technical, is draw fire. As ridiculous as it sounds. Yes? By being attacked by everyone, you actually must actually sturdier. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Just walking through. <laughs> we can take down that force field from the warehouse access point. This just feels wrong. Why? Easy? So easy. I can hold one set on my own. I don't uh I don't mind having company, but I definitely don't need company. Okay. So we should have more people on the other side. Okay, do go head over there. You need so I, I suspect Ray probably can hold. Yeah, the issue here is um, keeping the the guy alive, mm -hmm. not killing the enemies. And I got both a shield heal and an, and an, uh, and a hit point heal, so I can do that just fine. You're fine, dear. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Now I could actually have have the mental space to uh, look at the other screen and watch you play. <laughs> we need more time. Keep them off us while we work. We work. Yep, my dude is still at 100% hit points. <laughs> I always love the uh, insane damage numbers you get with this is futile. The damage numbers in the thousands is not unusual for my builds. <laughs> Who's making the drones? That's me. Ah, so they they walked over, okay. And I got the uh, the the um, endeavor. Which endeavor? The new tactical damage on ground. Ah. Oh, I'm glad you said that. I still have to do my uh, swarm at some point before five tomorrow. Ooh, got evil twin! Don't shoot him. I am unamused. Do not shoot him. Yeah, what might also uh, work quite nicely is, uh, if, assuming you are willing to invest in a couple of traits, 
Mm -hmm. radiation build, radiation builds uh, should also work quite nicely for uh, for science. There's a bunch of nice radiation based uh, traits. I haven't looked into the kit modules and weapons yet, but it should be possible to make something. Okay. What's the best for ground? Is it engineering? Definitely. Yeah. Um, the uh, reason why en engineers so was so insanely far ahead is equipment diagnostics. Mm -hmm. That one kit module grants, I kid you not, with 100% uptime, 50, in my case, 55 ore damage resistance, 82% shield resistance, um, and three times 35% chance to increase my damage by 50%. With 100% uptime. <laughs> on my, on my um, old engineering character, I used to have like six or seven drones. Is is there a good drone build? Is there like decent uh, traits? Drones are pro not that buff amazing. Mass? No, is there no way to buff them or anything? No. There's a couple of things. And you can get the nanomolecular nano architect, which gives every uh, fabrication within 20 meters of you a uh, significant hit point regeneration. That helps quite a bit. Um, mm. And you can get the assault drone fabrication. Which gives you a support drones um, a wide beam attack. But generally speaking, I tried a couple of round builds. I was not impressed. Meh. They look cool, but yeah. Who's gonna what do the run? I can do it. What I okay. uh, like doing is faking it. Giggity. Um, by using the um, sword drone. You have a drone that is hovering near your shoulder, that's essentially doubling your weapon damage. And that drone is amazing, but it isn't really a drone, it's essentially just a visual effect. I'll take the high. It's not working for me for some reason. I don't know what's... I'm trying another console. And, and with that, a cool sword drone, you have a um, significant boost of phaser damage. Okay, okay, okay. So with the... Uh, Support drone and the DOF for additional support drones. You can actually get a couple drones out that are quite quite nice to have. And how the hell did you yeah. get up there? <laughs> oh, that's not, not that hard. Uh, that's uh, you just need a jump power then you can get up there. Wow. Or teleport to enemy power. That one's nice. And if you're up there, you can actually jump to Lita. But it doesn't take doesn't, her out, so... You can actually go from here to Lita and kill her while, while that's still busy, busy here. I'm sorry, Mark. I hit the wrong button. My bad. Okay, no Yeah, I actually had that one time where we uh, went to Lita and she was already at a quarter hit point. Wow. <laughs> because someone went ahead and uh, said she soloed her. Oh, it's not this... that hard to do. This is the quietest I've ever seen this. Yeah, if you got enough damage, you essentially outperform uh, the uh, respawn rate. <laughs> Yay. And I think our hit points are quite nice, if I look at our shield and hit points. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, this is lovely. This makes this so much better. And the best part, it's not a particularly hard to use bird, is it? No, no. If you can't hear your triage, and someone needs to, you'll. Got it now, I just need to. Yeah, yeah but if you got a heater, why not use it? There you go, all, all healed up. <laughs> Yep, don't forget to uh, disable or at least not use your um, mm -hmm. res res resistance shooter. Yep. 
I mean, you can try it once just to see how much it messes up. That's okay. I'm. I don't need to mess up Lita. He's enough to pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I always find it amusing how little damage Lita can do. Get back over there. You are weak. Oh, nice. <laughs> And you already did the damage to the limit. <laughs> ah, Lita. There was a time when it was hard to kill her. There still can be. You are... If people have abilities that mess her up, then yes. Yeah. We had somebody doing Would something you, last she got time. Killed? Who got killed? Oh, well, she got healed. Ooh. She suddenly got half hit points back. Not that it mattered, but no. This is a mighty orc, but no, I have power you cannot imagine. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, already. All teams, stand by for emergency beam out. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me. So much for that. No, we haven't seen the last of you, tonight, but we gosh. have for tonight. Wow, that always, was amazing. <laughs> I'm always a bit annoyed by her, speaking in the past tense. When uh, when she appears in that uh, upper floor, mm -hmm. you thought you could you thought you could take the station from me. I yep, always yep. think that a past tense is a wrong tense there. I still yeah. I'm still very certain I could. <laughs> well, we took it from you, dear. We didn't. She she walked back. And we walked out. So she kept it. But yeah. <laughs> well, that was pretty amazing. Hey DT, are you back from eating dinner yet? Well, let's hang on a second because maybe DT would like to take over. Or maybe he's just going to eat dinner. We will see. Yep. What do you know? I'm glad you like the build. Definitely love that build. That is fun. I'm going to have to play with it a lot tomorrow. <laughs> Pick up a few more toys to go with it. Yeah. I, I mean, we could increase the damage output, but I think the damage output is just fine. It, it's great for where it is right now. I'll definitely... Yeah. There's some options for the reputation traits. Mm -hmm. They could get a little bit less defense and a little bit more um, offense options. Mm -hmm. Because you're using a lot of control effects simply because of all the slow effects you have, which counts as control. You could take the um, stacking damage boost for control effects. Okay. If you want more damage. That would be and nice, And I'm fine yes. with, uh, with taking less uh, resistance. Yep. For you, probably the hit point regen. You got to heal. Mm hmm Well, the medical nanites could probably be replaced. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely do that. I'm not sure what which uh, what what the name of the trait that gives damage for control effects. Uh, what exists? That is Zavos Vigo. Oh, Vigo. Zavos Vigo. What is it? Zavos Vigo. It's a person. Oh, okay. On, on orange brownie background. Control powers add stacks to self, plus 1.25% damage and speed. Duration 20 seconds, st max stacks 10, st uh, 10 stacks. So whenever you uh, hit a control effect, you get a stack and they add up. To about 12.5% speed and damage. It's decent. Okay. Well, now we'll look into it then. Yeah, you need to check if it actually triggers all the slow effects, or if it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Um, it might not give you a buff icon, 
so you may have to check the uh, whether you actually the the two tip damage increases. Okay. Um, but yeah, even if it doesn't, I mean the build works, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, build works great. Yeah, um, and of course you can always uh, throw in the cryo mobilizer module um, instead of medical nanites for okay. the twenty uh, percent chance when when you hit a, when you make a crit. No. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Whenever you hit net a crit, you have a twenty percent chance to apply a cold dot. Okay. I think That's the target. Try. It's not that amazing because it relies on having a high crit chance. Yeah. But it fits the build thematically. <laughs> that sounds like it'll work. I, however, am going to go do my real life stuff. So I'm going to log off for the night. Yeah. Everyone, Have thank you all. all so much. That was an amazing night. That was a lot of fun. Hang on. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for being here. Hey, you're always welcome. Always welcome. There's Ray. And let's see if we can get that. Hey, DT. You're crazy tonight. Hey, DT, do you want to take over? I can swim. Mm. Because I'm going to log off because I have to do some stuff for uh, tomorrow. I'm not going to be on too much longer, okay. I don't think. I might try to see if I can get a PvP match going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I, I will gladly join you on that. I, I, I need the endeavor. Yeah, that's the reason why. Yeah. Yeah, I need to do it too, actually. <laughs> on two uh, different okay, okay, let's do this real quick. Okay. It will hang. Um, yeah. Space or ground? Yeah, space or ground. Doesn't do, doesn't matter. Works for In me. In that case, invite me as well. <laughs> let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah. DT, you going to be in charge on that? Uh, I guess I can. Okay. Throw, throw yeah, some make sure you up. said the make sure you said the number of wins required to minimum. Yeah. Yeah, that's my plan. Throw some X's up and we will gra start grabbing people. How many people are you going to put in? I don't really care. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me do one thing then. I don't need the endeavor, but why not? Yeah, it doesn't say you have to win it. It just says you have to participate in it. So... Oh, actually, it's universal. I still need it. Yeah. Rizal, I can't invite you for whatever reason. What? Are you still in a team, maybe? Am I still in the private match? Yeah, I'm still in the private. Yeah. No, yeah right. Check Let's leave it. There now it should work. DT, give me one second. I'm going to log on with both tunes at the same time. Oh, no problem. Uh, as, I, <laughs> as you do that, I will go get... Yeah, you still need to leave the uh, TFO, the, the last one, Mom. Okay, give me yeah. one sec to jump back and get that one. Okay, I'm out of that one. Madafaja. We'll get sides figured out for a quick slaughter somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I should replace one ability because why not? Okay, that one was on me. I hit the X. Okay, there's my other one, DT. Thank you. We got some Brandomogi, and we'll get some Brandom Brandomam as well, I mm -hmm. think. Yep. There's Brandomam. Uh, yeah. Logging back in. Alright. It's still showing you in okay. here, so... Yeah. Double check your point, but it still shows you in the task force operation, so... Yeah, looks like I'm still in the private. Alright. All right. That's mom, you got the invite. Yep. We got five people. How do we want to break this down? Doesn't matter to me. As long as I die or survive. Give me one active player and I'm fine. <laughs> All right, John, you can do 3v3.
Sure. Does yeah. that work? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, let me just switch currencies. I would prefer ground because why not? Doesn't matter to me. I... Doesn't matter to me either. Because you just made a nice ground bird, so why not? <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yep. Energy credits don't have a price index. They're static. <laughs> Well, they That's might it. have a price or index in correlation to some other currency. Or it might Federation. be their buying, their buying power. Yes. Federation doesn't recognize uh, uh, gold press lat no more low buy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does, at least unofficially. All right. Swag rounds. Ground arena. You don't anybody accept want? Imperial credits here. Only money. <laughs> the... My tricks don't work. Hey. Only money. DT, if you want this to go a little bit faster, you might want to put a couple on Rasul's team. Yeah, yeah. I, I want one other person yeah. so that we have someone of this match. Yeah, Plus... I'll jump over. To, I'll jump over to Rasul's team. Okay, that way at least it'll go a little bit faster. <laughs> Let's see which side will die as fast. Two engineers. Oh, I'm um, DT. I'll... Do you have bioharmonic? I mean, uh, let me check. <laughs> because double bioharmonic is evil. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to die <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm going to assimilate people right now. So let's see if I get bioharmonic. You can. You can actually assimilate them. Okay. Um, let's see. I got Mud's Time Device, Adapt, Chain Conduit, Ball Lightning. Equipment diagnostic and assimilate. That's a nice. But setup. I do have bio. But I have biohormonic. I can switch one of these out. Yeah, probably adapt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same role, but orbital cutting uh, tractor beam. Yeah. Personal spatial trajectory. Dot seven. Assimilate. Ambush turret fabrication and personal transporter. If you're interested, we could see if you can get you a better build after this. Who, me? No, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. It, he goes breaking maps. He's good. All right. And five rounds. Here we go. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Well, at least it's going to be something. <laughs> It'll be yep. something. And that's, of course, the server crashes, and it's going to be a whole lot of nothing. It is quite possible. Shh. Don't say that. Don't put it out there. Mm -mm -mm. It's cryptic. Um. <laughs> so far, it seems to be working. I got a loading screen. 40% on the loading screen. 58. 85. 90. 69. Nice. 100. So. Can I do anything with this weapon? Hi, guys. Snowball them. Nice seeing you. Do we want to wait for them or do we want to let them come here? Let them come. <laughs> I don't think this will work, but. On over. The lightning's fine. You're trying to break the map, aren't you? Let's yeah, actually go over to them. The... Yeah, let's go over to them. Hmm. I'll just follow you. I think. Oh, stay away. <laughs> well, 
that's fun. I get to revive myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yay! <laughs> that was somewhat one-sided. It really was. Does, I should doesn't have, matter. I should it not have, did what I it needed have, to do. I should not have brought the lightning build. <laughs> that was excellent. It worked so well. <laughs> that worked the out lightning great. build is insane. It really is. I did not no. get credit for that. No. You sure? Did you not? Did you fire I, I weapons at I all? I did. I did, yeah. Oh, shoot. Not enough, though. Did you, I, did I you not get... Did you, you got credit, Mom? I got credit on both accounts, yeah. Uh. I got killed on both accounts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ran into the lightning. Of course you're going to get killed. Well, I'm jumping from one to the other to the other. A little crazy. Do we need to do another real quick one so that uh, Mark can get a chance? Yeah, yeah. I was still in the team. If you're still in the team, do space one this time. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a space one. We'll set it for five, and we'll go on to space. Same teams. Yep. Yeah, Listen. why not? I got my tank. Right. <laughs> yeah. I got my DPS, so I'll just stay near your tank. <laughs> I don't have any heal, but um, I hit the know, wrong one. You know Sorry. My tank. Sorry, guys. I hit the wrong one there. No worries. And once again, the massacre. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Um, I would like to replace that one with a chain lightning. <laughs> I, I would like a... to replace that one with a ball lightning. I would like to replace that one with a Lucari. Mm -hmm. um, that one with a Lucari. And that one with a... Ah, too late. <laughs> Kentari. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got the rest of the bird, okay? I thought we were doing space. Oh, well. Uh, I, yeah, I, said, I said I misclicked. Okay, okay. I told you that. I said that, actually. I, I didn't know that's what we were referring to, but okay. Yeah. Uh, you go there. You stay here. I like this map. Where's my chain? There's. There it is. Hi. I hear shooting. <laughs> yeah, just solo the enemy team. It's fine. <laughs> what, you disagree? No, I agree fully. <laughs> Did that really just happen? I really just uh <laughs> yeah, Echo Pop was actually quite nice for, uh, for PvP. Ah. <laughs> okay, there I got caught. Yeah, I got it then. You got it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lighting is evil. It, it really yeah, it is. is. It really is. Okay, now, now I need to go my, do personal stuff. It is my favorite. It is definitely among points my favorite build, especially when I'm doing on a map where I can just start assimilating people. <laughs> Good. I'm going off to do things, folks. Have a great night. I will be back tomorrow morning really early with Ed and then Monday. But maybe DT will be doing stuff tomorrow. I don't know. I might see about after work. I get, I work all the way through Tuesday. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday are long days. So. Monday's going to be a long day. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone, thank and... you so much. This was awesome tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm glad everybody was able to jump in and have some fun. I even yeah. found a way I can at least participate sometimes yeah. on work days. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe we can shift times a little bit here and get some stuff done. So I'm out of here for a while. I will talk to you all later. Have a great night. Do we want to raid somebody? Good. I suppose we could. Let's see who's Who is on. on. I don't know. I don't know either. I can't remember. I've been kind of scrambling for yes, everything since I got home. Let's see if anyone's on. Uh, Jim Racer, Slappy McSnappy, Us, Endeavor Game On, Papa Yoki, Katie Gamer. Oh, let's go hit Von Marcus. You guys ready? No, yeah, why not? Okay. We're going to go raid Von Marcus. If you haven't given him some love, give him some love. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are raiding. Night night, everybody. Raid alert. Yeah, raid alert. Um, BT. I think the only build that would be even worse would be the uh, uh, anti-proton build.